Hello, everybody. Officially insane. Thank you so much for gifting that sub to Commander Shepard. Lordy, welcome. Enjoy your emotes. Enjoy your ad reviewing. Thank you. Oh my god, thank you. Friends, welcome. Welcome, welcome in, welcome back. This is episode four, I believe. Hi, I'm Kolo. I'm playing Mass Effect for the first time. Um, this is day four. Uh, I have been around the Citadel and we're about to go on our first mission, technically second mission, I believe. Um, if you're new here, hi. Uh, let me just tell you a little bit about how we play games here. I mostly do first playthroughs where I know absolutely nothing about the game. This is a completely help-free, hints-free playthrough. Um, the normal no backseat gaming, no spoils rules, but also please don't hint, don't foreshadow, all of those kinds of things. Um, I can promise you that I will get almost everything entirely wrong, but I will have a blast doing it. And I really hope that you enjoy seeing the game through somebody else's eyes for uh, for for some time. Hi! <laughs> I'm really bad at these. <laughs> I'm really bad at intros and I'm really bad at outros. Hi, if you watch on if you're watching on Twitch, hello, we're usually here every Monday at 6 p.m. UK time playing Mass Effect. Um, I'm playing the legendary edition. If you're watching on YouTube, hello. Uh, we upload an every an every episode, a new episode every Wednesday. I'm doing my best. Damn it. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show YouTube YouTube chat because it, they're talking about hints to fleas or something. Um <laughs> Lord Alright, should we play the game? Um, welcome. I don't know what else I need to say. Is there anything else that I need to say? I'm not sure. Let's drink some coffee before we take off, shall we? Lordy me. Captain Jax, thank you so much for the two months. Welcome back. I appreciate your prime sub. Thank you. And to Leela with the gay bits, thank you. Foreshadowing, not foreshadows. Guess I'll put those extra lights away. Definitely put those extra lights away. Um, also, when we play at folks on Twitch, I do mute alerts quite a lot when we're doing first playthroughs. Uh, please don't think that you are being ignored. You are absolutely not. I just like to get engrossed in the story. So if you do a thing and it doesn't make a noise, bear with me. I'll come to it. There with me. Wonders if there is a subnautica coffee subnautica coffee machine on board. You look like you could use some coffee. I actually have that sound effect ready and prepped. Okay, so previously on Colo plays Mass Effect for the very first time, um, we 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 did the thing. We're now invincible. <laughs> That's how it works, isn't it? Yeah, I wasn't sure about that, dude. Forgot about him. Um, seems seems keen to learn though, so we'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh, I also lost Tali for a really long time. I'm also not really sure about the Joker. Like I get I get that he's quite straight talking and not a yes man, and I appreciate that. But I'm just not sure. And I think this game has really got to me in that sense. Like I'm I'm second guessing everything in this game. I'll go, oh, I think this about this person, or I think this about this. And then I'll be like, oh, but what if, but what if, but what if? And I like that it's giving me a headache of the most delicious kind. Uh, does any of that make sense? Probably not. Anyway, <clears throat> let's have a little look at our journal. And we were kind of having a think about where we were gonna go. So we've got Pharos, we've got Neveria, and we've got Artemis Tau. <clears throat> and if we pop over into the Codex, because we do have quite a lot of Codex reading to do, and I've been trying to split this up because I haven't wanted to overwhelm myself. That's a lot of information and a lot of lore in this game. So maybe we do a little bit of this first of all. Maybe we have a little, a little bit of a look at this, and see what we haven't looked at. But the planets and location is the main thing. So this is the one with the ruins, right? So Veros is the ones with the ruins. This is the one with the plants, right? Is this the one? Is this the one with the plants? colony world. The planet is owned by the Novaria Development. 
Pharos is a habitable world in the hydroponic gardens. Pharos is the one with the plants. I mean, I'm sure that there's plants in most of them because, you know, life and stuff, but I uh, kind of want to go and see the plants first. Probably made a completely different decision, didn't I, before the previous stream? But anyway, let's have a little look at. Biotics. Oh my goodness, there's Biotics so much. We've read that one. An artificial okay. intelligence is a self-aware computing system capable of learning and independent decision-making. Creation of a conscious AI requires adaptive code, a slow, expensive education, and a specialized quantum computer called a blue box. A blue An box. An AI cannot be transmitted across a communication channel or computer network. Without its blue, blue box. box, an AI is no more than data files. Loading these files into a new blue box will create a new personality. Whoa. As variations in the quantum hardware and runtime results create unpredictable variations. The Geths serve as a cautionary tale against the dangers okay, so of rogue AI. Okay, so these came from Tali's home planet. And in Citadel space, they are technically illegal. Advocacy groups argue, however, that an AI is a living, conscious entity, deserving the same rights as organics. They argue that continued use of the term artificial is institutionalized racism on the part of organic life. The term synthetic is considered the politically correct alternative. Okay. All right. That makes sense. I think if... if... I've got so much to learn about this universe. Oh my goodness! How long have we been playing this game? Five minutes and my brain is already like... Oh, here's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. There's a lot. Is the blue box bigger on the inside? That's a reference that I understand. It's unusual. If you're new here, this is unusual because I don't usually get references because I live under a rock. Um, but I get that reference. It's about the... Uh, I was I was going to try and go for what it stood for. It's about the TARDIS. Time and... Something dimensional... I give up. Uh, when subjected to an feel. electrical current, <laughs> the rare material dubbed element zero, or EZO, Ezo. emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. Oh my this goodness. mass effect is used in countless Ooh. ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. Ezo is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Okay. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Now we know what it is! But we, we know now, now we know what it is! Hi, Min Max Red Mage, thank you so much for the fresh new sub. Welcome in. Taylo with the 11 months name drop. Hells yeah, we're gonna read it again because I'm definitely gonna need to read this more than once to understand what this means. <laughs> Unfast, thank you for your bobs. Dang, roll credits. Mic drop, roll credits. Okay, when sub, uh, sub, subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. That's really cool. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster than light space travel. I get why mass effect is so important now. It's basically the the, the, the whole entire universe is based on it. I'm pretty sure they, they mentioned mass effect in here as well. Individuals to manipulate dark energy and create, and create mass, mass effect, effect fields. Hell when yeah! All right, mass effect fields, let's can go. can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. I'm making my head hurt already. With a positive current, mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. 
In space, low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. High mass fields create artificial gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense, sturdy construction materials. The military makes extensive use of mobility enhancing technologies, with mass effect utilizing fighting vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces. Mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire. Basically, magic except science. Whoa, harder, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> that, 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 that don't kill me. Get out, leave me, me so uh, Evenly blended alloys. People say I look like her. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and mini factoring fabricator. Versatile and reliable. Whoa. An Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. What? The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first in colonists. What? Handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and mini factoring fabricator can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor from a distance. Whoa, that's really cool. Rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics. Does that mean that I can like recycle stuff with it? I <gasps> really hope I get one of these. That would be so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh lordy. Um Biotics is Oh we oh, well, we did any, everything in the day. I've got so that's so much Fast. to learn. Oh the my god. Alright, well let's oh, it only makes sense that we learn about Normandy. We'll do the Normandy and then we'll fly, okay, because we're about to fly, so I feel like it only makes sense that we that we cover the Normandy first. The Normandy is a prototype starship developed by the Human System Alliance with the assistance of the Citadel Council. It is optimized for scouting and reconnaissance miss missions in unstable regions using state-of-the-art stealth technology. For most ships, the heat generated through standard operations is easily detectable against the absolute zero background of space. The Normandy, however, is able to temporarily sink this heat within the hull. Heat sinks. Ali Dangerous taught me that. Combined with refrigeration of the exterior hull, the ship can travel undetected for hours or drift passively for days of co covert observation. This is not without risk. The stored heat must eventually be radiated or it will build to levels capable of cooking the crew alive. Another component of the stealth system. Excuse me, there's another one. Excuse me, sorry about the dime mouse there. Uh, another component of the stealth system is the Normandy's revolutionary tantalus drive, a mass effect core twice the standard size. So I get that now, mass effect core, because that's what you need to, to, um, for FTL travel. Twice the standard size, the tantalus drive generates mass concentrations that the Normandy falls into, allowing it to move without the use of heat emitting thrusters. That's a second fascinating. This is fascinating. I think that might be all I can absorb for now. I think we might have to come back to it. And I know that so many of you watching who know this entire franchise inside out are gonna be like, but Colo, <laughs> it's so simple. But you got you got to you got to realize that this is just the biggest like info drop after info drop and I want to enjoy experiencing it. I don't want to feel like I'm revising for a test. So that might mean that I miss out on some information and that I don't know stuff and some things don't make sense, but that's okay. 
but that's okay. Maximum sponge capacity reached. Exactly, Moosey. Exactly. Karma! Yes, this is it. The first sub before dinner. I'm loving the Mass Effect series on YouTube. Have an amazing time with today's live lesson three. Karma, thank you so much for the 17 months. I appreciate you coming over and dropping your prime sub. And thank you so much for coming over from the YouTubes. I'm glad that you, um... I'm glad that you're enjoying watching it over there, Karma. Thank you for the 17. And Spriggsy! I'm Commander Spriggsy, and this is my favorite stream on the Citadel. Here come. Hey, Spriggsy! Spriggsy, thank you so much for the 36 months. 36 months. I swing in a massive tier 3 around in here. Holy butt, Spriggsy, that's a giant thing. Lordy me. Careful how you swing that. You can take somebody's eye out. Blimey. Me like weird tinglies. It's the colours and the music together. All right. Yeah, it's so cool. I can't get over it. Um. I would like to go here first because this is the one with the cool plants. Ah, oh, dang. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is where we got at the at the end of last stream. I was like, I want to go there, and then we found out that we had to go through all of these places first. So, Horsehead Nebula. Oh hell's yeah! All right, so I think Navaria is the cold one. So we'll go there first because it's closest. And also, I feel like if I play the colo way and go over this way, no matter how much I will really love to do that, no matter how much I would really love to go over here and see that, I feel like I would be out of my depth because the game clearly wants me to go to either this place or this place first. Let's go to this one. Here we go. Need to do it in a second. <laughs> Hello, Mala 
Alistair, thank you so much for your 200 bobberoonies. Thank you so much. Found your Mass Effect videos on YouTube. It's one of my favorite games of all time. Streams don't usually work for me, but wanted to come say hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for coming to see us. It's lovely to meet you and I appreciate your bits. Thank you. Well then. All right. Be cool, cool, be cool. I'm so, so sorry. I just really love space. That's <laughs> just like <laughs> the space geek is going crazy right now. <sighs> Try and keep it cool. Why have I not played this game before? Okay. <sighs> All right. Novaria is a small frozen terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by Novaria Development Corporation who lease out labs to perform research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Given Novaria's unique situation, it is the source of many wild conspiracy theories. Okay, Port Hanshan. Hanshan. Let's do it. Let's land. Approach control, this is the SSV Normandy, requesting a vector and a berth. Normandy, your arrival was not scheduled. Our defense grid is armed and tracking you. State your business. Citadel business. We got a Council Spectre aboard. Landing access granted, Normandy. Be advised, we will be confirming identification on arrival. Confirmation cannot be established. Your vessel will be impounded. What a fun bunch. I think I'll take my next leave here. Live it up to his name there. Well, I mean, we didn't get attacked on the way, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that was all right. Oh no, now how do I get out? Um, Step one, how to leave. <laughs> one leave the ship i can't remember which way we got in oh god this is the most colo way thing i think i've ever done in my life um all right just bear with me look if you're new here just you can, i'm so sorry but you're gonna have to get used to this i don't have a sense of direction <laughs> I, just, I just don't i'm too busy trying to smell the flowers and stuff to understand and pay attention to where i'm going uh there's the joker this is the way Dolly first. Definitely Dolly. I've got to do it. I know, I know Gary is really loved, but I've got, I can't. I just, I love, I just, they're, they're my faves. I, I'm sorry, Psyche. I know how much you love Garrus. But I have to take the beautiful green-voiced Rex with me. I have to. I just I have to. I have to take these two. I have to. I picked my squad. I did it. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Exo Presley? What a name. Can we talk about that name? Exo Presley? I don't know whether to be scared or impressed. Maybe a little bit of both. Hi, are you gonna scan me? What if I stand in your way? Is it annoying yet? Sorry stop trying to be annoying on a planet that I've just landed on and I'm going to meet the residents for the first time. <laughs> Exo Presley, that's nice to say. Exo Presley. That's far enough. We'll cooperate. We're not here to cause problems. This is an unscheduled arrival. I need your credentials. I'm with the council. 
Can you imagine landing on somebody's planet, being greeted and being like, I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> like, no, I'm, I'm the stranger here. I'm with the council. I'm a specter. My name is Shepard. Load of horse crap, man. Uh, excuse me. We will you. need to confirm that. Go on then. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Don't try it. I love Rex. I love Rex. Oh, chat's telling me that EXO is his title. Executive officer. The Colo way. I rest my case. Let's not start a fight. Yes. Why not? Rex. Captain Matsuo, stand down. Rex. We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. Hells yeah. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. Me too, lady. Parasini san will meet you upstairs. All right. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. All right. What do we need to know here? I'm sure Parasini-san will answer any questions you have. Parasini-san. That's nice to say. Parasini-san. I'm sure Parasini-san will answer Parasini -san, any questions Parasini-san. That's nice to say. Get out of here. All right. Okay. Off we go. Whoa. Is that a waterfall? Shut the fridge door. Oh, I like that. That's cool. Is this their fast travel? Can I use it? Not sure if that's a bullet or a microphone. Hello? Hello? Detectors, don't mind the phones. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thanks again, it's through. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. your help. Yeah, I do. I do appreciate welcome. it. You understand our security of chief course. is only doing her job. I would have done the same One thing. One of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Why so many guys? Pretty security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. Client corporations. I don't like the sound of it, and I don't know why. Sounds suspicious. Is this privacy intended to hide illegal research? Yeah, tell me that! This planet is beyond the jurisdiction of the Citadel. The law is what the executive board says it is. Uh... Do you know how valuable this planet is? How many advances in genetics and artificial intelligence got their start here? I'm not sure how I feel about this, I'm gonna be honest. Has anyone unusual passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago, Lady Benezia. Saren's flunky? Where? Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 research complex days ago. But to the best of my knowledge, she's still there. I'll need directions. Did you tell me how to get there? Yep. You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Pretty heavy security for such a small uh, port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. I'm not here for them. I'm not here for you. <laughs> Little bit Hamilton. I know my sister like I know my own mind. You will never find anyone as trusting or as kind. Oh, my sister more than anything in this. <laughs> I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. <laughs> That's gratifying to hear. Understood. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the administrator's office. All right. 
Uh, see you later. Hi, friend. Friend. <laughs> it's literally me playing any game ever. Friend. Friend. <laughs> Thank you for your gay bits to Leela. I see him. Thank you so much for your 666. The Olog. Om nom nom nom. Plants. I like that they did the roots too. Do you know what? In so many games, the plants are just like a green blob on a bit of soil. Can we just stop for a moment and appreciate the plants? Literally nobody is surprised by me asking us to do this. Here's the thing. There's moss, there's roots, there's texture in the soil. It's something I rarely see and I really approve. Whoa, what's this? That appears to be a flying gun that sort of looks a bit like a puppy. Like it looks cute. I want to protect it. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> um, ooh, are we gonna get news? Come on, friends. Come on, Rex, in your gun. Rex, get in here. Rex. I, hate the cold. I love Rex. Come on, buddy, come on. I need to get my blood flowing. <laughs> Find me something to kill. Welcome to Port Hanshan, All right, here the galaxy's we go. most respected site for independent scientific research and development. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Thank you and enjoy your stay. Very suspicious of this place. I thought it was going to be cool. Uh, but I'm very suspicious. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. As I was saying. I can't believe the paranoids that work here. There's paranoids. no accident on peak 15. I don't understand these rumors about synthetic insights. If the office is closed, it must be for a good reason. I don't care what happened on peak 15. We've all signed non-disclosure agreements. Wish my legs were that long. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. What? Talk to me some more. News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Great voice. A great voice. I wasn't even really listening what they were asking. I was just too mesmerized by their by their voice. Smuggling, I think. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. <laughs> that is not inaccurate. <laughs> That is not inaccurate. That is not inaccurate. What color? Yellow. Yellow. And almost gold. Very fancy voice. A very fancy voice. <sighs> I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. This one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no threat to anyone within this port. This port. Note that they said this port. I 
I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain anonymous. It's, it's either this one or this one. It's either see it my way or tell me or I won't help. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm a spectre now. And the first place I go outside of the Citadel, the first person that I meet, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm just gonna agree to be a smuggler. Very first, very first. Uh, I genuinely think that I would say something like, if I, if you can't tell me what it is, I'm not gonna help you. I think I would be that frank talking, which puts us in red territory. Customer Off we go. To have his package. Tell me who it's for or I walk. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and quick to anger. This voice! You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. This one. Is there anything else we can say? Let's have a look at what they've got to say. Maybe later. Right yeah, now, I'm not sure. Surprised. I don't have enough information yet. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. I feel like I'm being hypnotized. View standard items. Do I do? Is there a a thing that I can that I can? Isn't there a thing where I can then have different items? Damn! I thought I could. I thought there was an item that I could buy. Where it was. I thought that was something that I could do where I could have their, um... Oh man, I don't know what to do. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna... Sometimes you don't need to make a decision straight away. And I'm gonna go ahead and not make a decision straight away. I thought that there was a thing that I... I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Alright, fair. Can we go back and hear their voice again? Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? Amazing. I really love this voice. Fascinating. Um, I'm not gonna do it, chat. I'm not gonna do it. I, at least not now. I don't know anything about this and I feel like this is a bad decision as the first decision to make. I suspect this is a very bad decision. Just to smuggle an unknown something for an unknown someone. Some uh, I just met. I just I don't know. Um, I have an actual question. I'm quite confident that there was something that I could buy from individual merchants that allowed me to buy new things on a on a ship. Um, I think that there was something, and I can't remember what they're called. Is it a license? Maybe I think that's what I'm talking about. Hopefully, this is enough information to to tell you all, or ask you all what I'm talking about. Licensing, yes. Okay. Um, so my actual question is. Here's the actual question. Can I buy one from this from this character? Can I buy one from Merchant Apold? Not all shops have them. Some have more than one. Not everyone has it. Let's have another little look. I'm pretty sure it was right at the right bottom. Now I need supplies. Let's have a little look. Of course. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. <sighs> so I clicked standard. So it's not going to be human. Maybe upgrades. What's in here then? Hardened weave. Will it actual question? Will it be called something license? Will it be called a something license? It will have license in its name. They're not trying to. Has the out. other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? I love this voice so much. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Manufacture name license. All right, thank you, everybody. This one apologizes for inconveniencing I you. feel like I've been hypnotized by this voice. It's amazing. It's yellow for everybody that was asking. Um, yeah, like kind of like a gold yellow. Almost gold. Shiny. Grenade, so it's not here. So the only other place that it would be is in... Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? 
wild. Maybe later. Right now, I need supplies. Of course. Wow. This one apologizes for inconveniencing you. So this is the only place that it could be, but I don't think it will be. I, I think if it were if it were anywhere, it wouldn't be here. I can't remember what everybody's armor type and stuff is. Every time I come here, there's a damn blizzard. <sighs> My people have dealt with the corporations on Noveria in the past. They pay well and they don't ask any questions. The just the, the different voice textures in this room makes my heart so happy. All right, moving swiftly on. The managers warned us about you, Spectre. You're the Spectre, right? Um, management told us not to talk to you. Oh, well. All right. Okay. I see how it is. Are you gonna talk to me? Don't make us regret letting you keep those guns. Sorry, don't worry. I won't use them unless I have to. I can't get over that voice. Wow. It's like um if you've played Subnautica, it's like the what? No. It's like the, what are you? It's like that voice, right? I don't know where I'm going. I'm thoroughly lost. Nobody's surprised at all. Me, me, let's just talk to this person. Don't make, don't make us regret you keeping those guns. Whoa. Spectre, right? That's me. Yeah, that's me. I used to be a military tech. Except for my Eco's people, everyone's too corporate here. They just sit around sipping expensive water. So what can I do for you today? Do you think this is what it's like being a... A very corporate uh, online merchant sites premises um what can i do for you to get today hmm <gasps> personal questions my favorite here? i'm the chief mechanic for handshed just call me lee humans have a problem saying my full name i know Got a team voice. Of 12 under me keeping the shuttles coming and going i know this voice Say again. What do you do here? I'm the chief mechanic for Hanshan. Just call me Lee. Humans have a problem saying my full name. Got a team of 12 under me, keeping the shuttles coming and going. It's the robot from Futurama. Is it the same voice actor? Bender. Is it the same voice actor? Actual question. <laughs> no, it's not Bender. It's an awesome voice. The voice acting in this game has blown me away more than I think any other game that I've played. Genuinely. Like the, the complexity and the variety is is absolutely exceptional. I love it. I love it. It's not Bender. Keith, I don't know how to say their surname. Sa Sarabakia, maybe? Is that how I say it? Got a team of 12 under me keeping their shuttles coming. I'm not paying attention at all here. Um, local news. You seem like you have an ear to the ground. What's happening around here? There's a problems up on Peak 15. Synthetics Insights was shut down by Analeus. And a matriarch came through. Mm -hmm. Sounds related, if you ask me. What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. 
Nobody talks about what they do there, and everyone sent up comes back a little quieter. Suddenly I feel like I need to leave this station. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Um... What was that about synthetic insights? Scuttlebutt says Lord Keen was on the take. Zynalea shut down SI's offices. Quiet, like, so no off-world lawyers come in on it. Do you know where that matriarch is now? You looking for her? She took a shuttle to Peak 15 before we lost contact. Sounds suspicious, does it not, chat? I have to go. You need anything? I'll be here. Access to the garage is restricted. Do we do it? Oh, I'm so tempted. I'm on Citadel business. I need to leave this station. If you want to enter the garage, you need authorization for Mr. Analytics. <laughs> No exceptions. I was, I'm sorry. I was prepared to fight. You were very kind about it. I appreciate how kind you were about it. I'm sorry for making your job hard. Sorry. Sorry for making your job hard. But you really didn't need that, did you? And, and, and I did. What I, can I do for you today? I did the equivalent of the do you know who I am? That's what I did. That's what I just did to that poor guard. Um, I don't really. I don't. Oh! Hello! <laughs> Hello, Raiders. Hello! Negorix, it's so nice to see you. Hi! Holy butts! Garrus, my husband. Negus, I hate to tell you this, but Garrus isn't on my squad. I have to go. Garrus isn't you in my squad. Anything? I'm really I'll sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Garrus isn't in my squad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really love Rex and Dali, so I picked him. Thank you so much for the raid, Negs. Hello, friends. Welcome. It's really nice to have you here. Thank you. That's okay, because he's too busy being in my squad. All the more for you, Negs. Thank you so much for the raid, and thank you so much for the 21-month resub. Unbelievable. Hi, friends. It's lovely to meet you. Thank you so much from, uh, for, for coming over from, from next stream. What were you up to today? Tell me about it also. I would really love to see your favorite Nego or XMO, so please show me. Please spam chat with them. In fact, I'm going to take you through to here so you can all see them. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi, if we haven't met before, it's lovely to meet you. My name is Colo. This is my co Paula Pumpkin. Um, don't touch the belly. It's a trap. I love her very much, and she hates me. That's the dynamic that we have going on here. Uh, I like open world adventures. I love space. I love playing things through for the first time um, without knowing absolutely anything about it. Um, and uh, I get everything wrong and I have a lot of fun doing it. That's pretty much me. Hi, <laughs> welcome. Thank you so much for all of these follows. I also have the absolute joy of playing tabletop with Nengs every Tuesday, which is a total delight which is a total delight. We were doing a sponsored stream with Samsung. They sent me their latest phone, it, but it was in a locked briefcase and we had to do escape room clues to open it. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Did you get it open? Did you get it? Was it, was it really complex? Holy moly, that sounds like an absolutely brilliant stream. I have to go and have a little look. What's the phone like next? Tell us all about it. Hi, I did you? My hair is amazing. Thank you so much. I grew up all by myself. Thank you, I grew, I grew up myself. Friends, if you don't know Next, please go and say hello to her. If you don't know her, look, you're just doing it wrong. You're doing the internet wrong. Um, she's an absolute delight. She is one of the kindest, most wonderful creators that I've had the pleasure of meeting. She's an absolute joy. You will love her stream. Go go watch her escape rooming a briefcase to get a phone out of it. That sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. We had like five different puzzles and I solved zero of them, chatted them all. I'd totally be in the same boat next, but that sounds like a wonderful stream. It felt out to be a full screen tablet and then phones back to me. That's really cool. Hey, I, do you know what? I had to... Uh, I've seen one of them and I've had a little look at it and been like, hmm, hmm, 
Mm, it does. What? Exactly, Sadie, right? Unbelievable. Thank you for doing that shout out for next. Go say hi, friends. Go say hi. Um, you're joining us. This is my first time playing Mass Effect. Um, I know very little about the game. This is day four of us playing. Um, we do, we are really strict on the no help, no hints things, just so you're well aware. Um, so, uh, so yeah, just so you're well aware of that. We're very, very strict on it over here. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I've just met a character who has the most amazing voice. The most amazing voice. Uh, I would go back and see them, but I've got absolutely no idea how to get there. Screw it, we're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, no, wait, that's the wrong way. Also, I get lost a lot. <laughs> also that. <laughs> also, also that. Um, and I don't know what else I need to tell you. What else do I need to say, chat? Other than welcome. What a joy to have you here. Thank you so much for, for being here. And thank you so much for the raid next. I really appreciate it. If you spoil Mass Effect for Golo, I'll break into your house and turn all of your socks inside out. <laughs> I've never heard that as a threat. Can we talk about that? Also, I've been been very appreciative of the plants in this game because they gave, look, they gave like proper, proper moss, proper roots. They did not half ass it. They were like, hell yeah, plant friends. I want to know all about that. I don't know what else I need to tell you. Also, I play games with my left hand and my left foot. That's a bit weird. I should probably mention that. <laughs> you can do exclamation mark health and exclamation mark controls if you want to learn a little bit more about that. This voice, listen to it. Listen to it. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? What? 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 <laughs> I don't I'm just browsing right now. I don't know enough about this them yet. one humbly begs the other to consider its request. But that voice is wild. Thank you so much for all of these follows, everybody. Thank you for thank you for being here. I, I appreciate appreciate it. Anyone who inflicts spoilers will mysteriously find a cactus next to the light switch whenever they enter a dark room. God, blimey, I wouldn't wish that on anyone, would I? Can I go in here? Are you going to shoot me? All right, let's find out. Duke, thank you so much for paying for that gift sub. Hey, to tune. Did I say it right? Thank you so much for being here. Duke, that is super generous. Welcome in. Enjoy. Enjoy. Enjoy your remotes. Pumpkin salmon a stretch. What? What's going on over here? What's going on on this set? Um, hello. So this is the lady that I spoke to when we came in. How can I help you? Okay, um, all right, so we already know that there's a lot of sus going on in Peak 15. I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. Accident, chat. We're aware accident. of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible uh, talk. This place, I don't like it. Weather, seriously? What kind of weather cuts modern communications? Big sus, a friends. A blizzard is sweeping the Scotty Mountains right now. Between the cloud cover and heavy snow, the satellite uplinks are cut. All right. Who what done corporations it? work on Peak 15? Who Binary done it? Helix has leased the entire complex. Binary Helix. Hello there. Hmm. How are you doing? Heart. Hey, Heart. Cooley. Thank you so much for the 16. Welcome back. Welcome home. Thank you. After microwaving water. No, you don't. You don't make tea in the microwave. That's not how you do it. Oh, my dear heart. Binary Helix has leased the entire complex. Can we learn more about who Binary Helix are? Okay, um, investigate. Uh, I hear there was an accident on Peak 15. We're aware of the rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. You're ignoring the problem. I'm going straight in for it. You're ignoring so it. So everyone shut up and keep your heads down. Apparently, turned. that's the loose lips sink third quarter profits. This entire you have planet. You a more blunt way of speaking than is common here, Commander. <laughs> Yeah, and... I'd like to speak to Analeas. One moment, please. Mr. Analeas. Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard yes, is asking what, what? to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. Right, fine, come in. 
Hey, where are we going? Are you the, are you the big cheese? Are you the head of all things corporate and terrifying? Look, it's another one of these guns. I swear, I'm I'm so confused by these things. It's a flying gun and I should be terrified of it, but it moves like a puppy. And so I want to protect. Okay, maybe she wasn't joking about the blizzard. I don't think that's the reason for the communication cut off though. You will excuse me if I don't stand up. I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. Excuse me? Funny thing about humans, we're pretty loyal to our home world. My home world is clean. Poverty is non-existent. If you take some perverse pride in that overheated, acid-washed slum, that is your business. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Translation, businesses come here so they can break all the rules and get away with it. Uh, all right, let's start here. Are you telling me you have no safety protocols? Don't be ridiculous. Do you think a for-profit company would take no precautions against loss of life and material? Project leads have the final say here, not meddlesome politicians. Oh, look, I'm sorry. If I was going to tell on anybody, it would be this dude. <laughs> if I was going to tell on anybody, it would be this dude. <laughs> uh, right, can't break the rules if there are no rules. Apparently, Dom. Apparently. Hello, Packet to Call. Welcome. You're not late. You're right on time. You're right. You're right on time. Okay, what else have we got then? I don't think they're going to tell me about anything. Like, surely there's something going on with Soren here because I refuse to believe that this entire world has no idea about the rest of the world. I just, it's I just, my, my brain, my poor brain. Okay, come on Is then. there some problem on Peak 15? An area of severe weather has cut off contact. Things will return to normal in a few days. That's just, that's a lie. You're lying. That's just a, that's... <sighs> All right, let's see what you do want you to say Do you do business about with Saren. Saren? Agent Saren, one of your Spectre compatriots? He is a major investor in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Oh, no, and they're the people in the place. That's descriptive, Kylo. <laughs> That's, that's where, that's who's in peak 15, okay? I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. Venezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. Okay. All right, then. Cargo, personal escort. I have a lot of questions and I don't know where to start. Bye, next. Take care. Have a lovely day. It was so lovely to see you. Thank you so much for bringing your community over. Thank you so much, Nix. Have a lovely day. Take care of yourselves. Thank you again for the raid. Nix is leaving to go to peak 15. How dare you? She's definitely not. Unbelievable. Bye, Nix. Thank you so much for the raid. Pactical, thank you for gifting us up to Peace Sebastian. Welcome back for your 10th month, Peace Sebastian. Thank you. Okay, divine personal escort walk sort of cargo. All of these. Okay, what can let's you just tell go me order. about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. <sighs> Interesting that this entire place is rule free, and yet they're in, they're like entertaining a spectre. They'll allow a spectre to come in. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Okay. You let Asari who can kill you with their brains run around, but give us flack about guns. Kill you with their brains? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Kill you with their brains? Asari? All right, chat. Actual question. 
forward slash not really a question, but please remind me to look up a sari after we finish this conversation. Please, pl please remind me to look them up. I don't know if we've got anything about them in the codex just yet. This planet totally needs baby, it's cold outside. It's freezing out there. <laughs> baby, it's cold outside, you say. What's in this drink? That's one of those songs that you listen to it again and you're like, whoa, that's creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. Okay, right, where are we going? Uh, what sort of cargo? Personal escort. I need to see her. Why is she here? Okay, I need to see I'd her. I'd like to see her immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. Is shepherd. that a challenge? Yes, stubborn, Shepard. I'm sure someone else here is willing to help us. Another topic. Back what to else my have other we got questions. to say here? Every minute of my time you waste costs the company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. All right. Sure, go for it. Not a problem. Why is Synthetic Insights closed? I have placed Laura Keane, the manager of the Hanshan office, under internal review. I cannot comment further at this time. I'm not going to tell on a bold. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. I just... I... I am not all right with... No, 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 no! That's the wrong button to press. <laughs> Although... <laughs> Sorry, Rex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, I use an adaptive controller, and that button is is right. <laughs> my X and B buttons are right next to each other. They're on my left foot. And they're, and they're right next to each other. And I, accident, and I keep doing that, and I really need to change. I really need to change the button layout. <laughs> Anyway, let's let's just let's use this this dude's hospitality and check out uh and check out the codex while we're here. All right, I don't know whereabouts they will be. Asari, there is. I don't know whereabouts they will be. The oh, here we go. were the first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Council. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. I don't know what that means. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. This capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Asari can live for over a thousand years, passing through three stages of life. In the Maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the Matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the Matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Reproduce through a form of parthenogesis. Each Asari can attune her nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. But the, the other... The other person knows, right? Like, this is... this is... this is consensual, right? Hope. Sari can live for over a thousand years. I'm genuinely not sure I would want to live that long. I just, I'm, re I'm really not sure I'd want to live that long, honestly. Thank you for your bobs, Ether. Parthenogesis is a natural form of asexual reproduction in which growth and development of embryos occur without fertilization by sperm. Today I learned. Ether, thank you very much for the, for the facts there. 
Okay. Well, t today we today we sorry. We're the first species. And they can kill people with their minds. Apparently. So we need to go to this area place. Oh lord, am I lost already? Oh, it's both ways. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. You've never worked in the corporate world, have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. Gianna, you surprise me. All right, what would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Oh, I have so many questions. You said I should talk to Lorik Keen. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanshan. Keen spends his days at the hotel since his office was closed. Okay, so this is this is the, the that's the that's the person from Peak Fifteen, and we know that the the person that we came here looking for went to Peak Fifteen and has mysteriously disappeared, and now it's closed off. How large are the facilities here? We have 17 research complexes built into the mountains. Each is a self-sufficient facility housing a staff of hundreds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's all very suspicious, isn't it? Okay. Tell me about the companies that work on Novaria. Can give me anything new here? Over 250 high-tech firms rent our labs. Major shareholders include Elanis Risk Control Services, Binary Helix, and Binary Synthetic Helix. Insights Limited. Binary Helix. They work in genetics? BH is a leader in genetics and biotechnology. They try to keep a low profile in the media. Uh huh. Wonder Much why. of their research is in biotic modifications. That angers many Luddite, organic baseline, and fundamentalist groups. Your guards work for ERCS, don't they? Oh, ERCS, that's what it stands for. The executive for. board gets a discount on facility security. Ilanis also develops lethal and non-lethal weapons. I, I would quite like to get off this planet as quickly as possible. I feel... I feel, uh, feel a little bit filthy just being here and not in a good way. <laughs> not the good kind, if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, is there anything else that I should, oh, I think we already asked her about that. Is there anything else here? Corporation, Zorik Queen Lab, I think we asked I her. I hear about... there was an accident on Peak 15. She said about the weather. We're aware of the yeah. rumors. At the moment, contact with the facility is down due to weather. All employees should review their non-disclosure agreements and avoid irresponsible free talk. All right, I'm, I'm done. up enough of your time. Yeah. Not at all, Spectre. This is my job, sure. after all. all right. Okay. Uh, all right, let's go to the bar. <laughs> Sounds like a good place to be. Thanks, it's Jin. All right, let's go to the bar and see what's going on. Uh, how do I get there? How do I, how do I get there? It's very concrete. I appreciate the waterfalls. I feel like the soul of this place is non-existent. And I would know. I'm Ginger. We know all about soulless things. Okay, what's up here? Is this where I went? When in doubt, hit the bar. How, how, do, I, how do I get the bar? Is there a map? <laughs> Does anybody have a map? Anybody maybe happen to know how the hell to do this? Um, Plaza, Administration Office, Plaza, um, okay, can we get in the lift? How do I, um, that's the dude that we spoke to before. Do I have to go through the garage? Oh lord. Access to the garage is restricted. Alright. Ah, okay, Fine. I can't, I, I can't do it. By. Have a good day. She's so polite. I can't make, I can't make her job horrible unless I really need to. <laughs> and right now, all I need to do is find the bar. Uh, synthetic mm. insights. Uh, okay. I think we probably need to go and get back in the lift. Let's go back to the lift. Can I use this thing? I'm still not entirely sure what that is. Bullet or microphone? Not sure. At this present moment. 
If you were a bar, where would you be? Somewhere I'm busy. There's some lights up there. Maybe it's up there. That's where the other person was. What's this? Is this where we were before? <clears throat> sure. Let's find out what's in here, shall we? Come on, friends. In you come. Oh, whoa! We don't get any... We don't get any juicy gossip in the lift. Damn! Not sure how I feel about the music, though. Um... Oh! Excuse oh. me. I need a moment of your time. Okay. The male human at the hotel bar? He's a sales rep for Binary Helix. His name is Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Prima! Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. That makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Dull stone? Dull stone? He's right there. Why not talk to him yourself? I wish I could. I already bungled this myself. He realized I was not a real buyer. I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your interest in Binary Helix? They do genetics work. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Noveria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. We want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance. Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. I want to do it. I want to do it. This game, this game is is so is so complex and it's really interesting that all of these characters are asking me to do illegal stuff and my and my, and my decisions are so gut instinct like yes i will do it no i will not do it and it's so interesting how this game makes me analyze my own choices of like like why why would i do this and i've only just met this person and usually my immediate instinct is i have only just met you i don't have enough information i might come back to you if i find that it is a good idea or if i think that there might be a good reason to do it but i have to tell you my gut instinct on this is to do it and i, <laughs> I like your voice color i'll do anything you ask like me when i went rex <laughs> You have a beautiful mossy green voice. Come with me. <laughs> um, yeah, it seems like such a bad choice, doesn't it? But there's so here's my decision process. Information on binary helix seems like a really like there seems like something going on there that would be a good idea to investigate. Like, I would never do this in real life. If somebody was like, here, can you go and do this? It's like, I would, I would never say yes. I'm interested to see what's, not because I particularly want a reward for it, but I just kind of want to know what what's their response is. Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. I'll think about it. Yeah, let's let's go Let to the bar. Oh, I, 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 I want to do it. I want to be, I just, ah. <laughs> Hi. Afternoon. Sit down, have a drink. What can I do for you? Hi. Are you Laura Keen? I heard you might be able to help me. You are the specter that just arrived, are you not? What can an old Turian like me possibly help you with? What makes you think I'm a specter? Your picture has been sent to every employee. 
They've been warned that speaking to you is grounds for termination. Lorik Keen. For the moment, I am the manager of the Synthetic Insights office. Having some trouble with your office? Mr. Analeas closed my office. He claims to be investigating reports of my corruption. The administrator is an interesting man. He's become quite wealthy since he took direct control of rents. I sense a connection there. Indeed. I acquired evidence of Analeas' actions. His hired goons are ransacking my office to find it. I suspect your goal lies outside this port. Mr. Analeas would be disinclined to let you wander. If you recover the evidence from my office, I will give you my garage pass, as well as a sum of credits. Alright, what else can we say? Pass or... How did you get a pass? I'm a manager. Most executives on Novaria are free to come and go as they will. Makes sense. Why didn't Analeas cancel your pass clearance? <laughs> Why should he? There's nothing outside but snow and hungry Nathak. Nathak? I... Uh... I'm you interested. I do. However, there is one other... What is that charming human expression? Fly in the lotion? <laughs> Violence against Mr. Analeas' thugs may be necessary. He has members of Han Shan's security team searching my offices. He's paying them under the table. Miss Matsuo is unaware of their outside employment. I'll figure something out. I'll focus out. on trying to get your evidence. If I'm lucky, I won't have to fight anyone. Rex is already Excellent. in. Here is yep. my pass. Rex is offices. ready. It will activate the elevator. The evidence is on my office computer. This OSD contains an encryption key to access it. Slide it into the drive and it will auto-execute. Okay. Oh, and do try to keep bloodstains off the carpets, would you? Rex. Try to keep bloodstains off the carpet. I'm gonna go and talk to this. I haven't accepted that quest. Good. They'd only write them down on thin strip. Oh, benefits, of course. No, I'm sure the company takes care of its own. Full insurance, paid vacations, subsidized housing. After a year, I'd start getting stock options. You hear about the resort? Then? This is well and truly the kind of place where it's like money just pays for anything. Like absolutely anything. Wait, wrong way. This is very much the. Solve all the problems, make people be quiet, just pay and things will happen. Can I help you? Can I help you? Oh, I can't speak to them anymore without You're the Spectre, right? Management told us not to talk to you. Yeah, so I heard. There's gotta be somebody else here. What what are these? Whoa, that is quite it's quite, quite some serious weather. I really like the water in this place. Do I take it? Do I say yes? Do I say yes? I think we just go and do the elevator. I think that's, a, that's a, some little private function room over here. I think we, I think we go and... Yeah, I, I'm gonna go and do the main thing i'm gonna go back to the elevators if this is the way uh, we are already aware that i have no sense of direction i'm gonna go back to the elevator and i'm gonna oh hello don't hang up elder brother it's me i'm on the varia now i can't talk what's long. here i'm sorry the hotel is off limits to those without a corporate account i can take this dude right i can't let you in you're welcome to enjoy a drink at our cafe. Can I climb up the ramp? That's definitely not a ramp. Um, okay, let's go back to the elevator. Because I think that if we get in the lift, if we... I'm using friends who haven't heard a lift before. Uh, it's what we call elevators in the UK. Um, it's a lift. Um, L-I-F-T. 
And I think we'll go and do that bit now. Rex, I love you. Okay. Do we get juicy gossip in the elevator? Where's my juicy elevator gossip gone? Holy butts, man. Evening, Winsley. What is the surprise Mass Effect stream? Yeah, it's my birthday on Monday. So we're so we're Mass Effecting today instead. Hi, Winsley. How are you doing? Thank you for the pubaroonies. Um, do you have to pay extra for lift pants? I mean... Yeah, that kind of makes a bit of sense, to be perfectly honest with you, in this place. I can't get in this one. It's not a lift pass for everywhere, it's just a lift pass for a very specific place. And I'm definitely gonna get lost while I try and find- This is why fast travel around the Citadel is so damn good. I think it's this way. Yeah. Excuse me. There's another one. No gossiping in corporate lifts, yeah. I think that's probably a good idea from what I've, what I've heard of this place. So it's this one. This was the lift, I believe, that was off limits before. I think this was the one. Don't get lift gossip in here. Oh dear. Um. Do I need to draw my gun? I would rather not be violent. Let's give them the option. Freeze! Hanshan security. This office is sealed. I don't want to fight you. Lorik Keen gave me a pass in. Keen? Are you working for him? He's under investigation. Why is it grayed out? Usually that's red. You two leave while you can. I'm going in there and I don't want to hurt you. Why don't you just go? We'll pretend this never happened. What? Okay, well, Lloyd me, okay. Definitely forgot exactly how to use everything in this. Here. Yeah, absolutely def- Rex! Rex! What the- what the- what the hell is happening here? Whoa, 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 whoa! Did you do the- why did I- Well done, Rex. Uh, there's a there's a weapons wheel somewhere. That's the first time that we've done any uh, weaponing today, and I still have no idea what any of these are. Uh, I should probably ask you an actual question about that at some point. <sighs> it's because I got used to sniping, and I really enjoyed sniping. Great. All right. Well, I guess that's because I got my gun out. We <laughs> lied about the carpets. <laughs> Leonie, he one hundred percent lied about the carpets. Okay. Um. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. What's this? <gasps> oh, I get to do one of these. I love these. Oh, that's a really easy one. That's a shame. Uh, she says. <clears throat> <laughs> there we go.
we came through that way. So what are the options here? This is probably where the big bad dudes are, right? Um, can I come? Can I come this way? Uh, I never play shooters, so for anybody who's confused about why my controlling is like this, it's part accessible controller and part that I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Chat, I've got an actual question. What's this? What's this? Actual question. I get fire containment system, but why why is it orange from so far away? Shoot it and see. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I'm so glad I asked about that. <laughs> Great! All right, uh, anybody here? Who is it? No, just some data, okay? Okay, missing person report. To the attention of administrator Nolis, a man named Garroth is looking for information on the whereabouts of one of our freighters. He believes his brother's ship may have been attacked by privateers while traveling through the Strainus system. Investigation pending. Okay. Um, surely there's more in here. I refuse to believe that that's it. There's got to be more nonsense in here. Yep, here we go. Sorry, sorry, I really didn't want to shoot you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, but it's just unfortunately... Unfortunately, you, I, you wouldn't let me take the peaceful option, which was just let me in your space to do all the things that I needed to. What's down here? Hey. Description, decryption skill too low, damn it. Medical kit. like to uh, just all right let's just double check to see if we've got any more i don't think we've got points oh we do oh we do um <laughs> we do have some points here okay uh decryption skill intimidate option in conversation will be grayed out if you do not have high enough skill all right so that's what that was then Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness of all attacks and, and powers. Oh, I, I bet as well because we don't have... Oh, hey, Rex! Whoa, I haven't done anything to Rex. Uh, all right, please just excuse me here. This is... um. Uh, Rex is one of the last true Krogan Battlemasters as they are a dying breed for which the rest of the galaxy improves health, increases me 18 points. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Rex, that I never leveled you up before this. Sorry about this. Sorry, everybody. Uh, uh, um, Lordy me, is there something that you can do about encryption here? I don't think so. Combat armor. Um, well, I think we do this first think that makes the most sense. Barrier. Bolsters your kinetic shields with a mass effect field that can absorb a massive amount of damage. Attacks that penetrate shields will also penetrate this barrier. Each point spent increases the strength and duration of the barrier. Projects a powerful mass effect field that wreaks havoc on a subatomic level. Whoa. Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time on enemies caught in the area of effect. Combat armor. Assault rifles. Firing assault rifles generates 80% less heat. Oh man, all of them, surely. All of them, surely, no? Oh, I 
don't know. I don't know what to pick. I really, I really don't know what to pick. This is really tricky. Um, I guess I feel like this. Um, oh, maybe we just even these spread. I'm. I really don't know what to pick. This is so hard. Um. Uh, Weakens armor and inflicts damage over time on enemies. Cool. Yes, that combat armor. I'm gonna go for combat armor because I feel like that's. I feel I feel like this is consistent, and I always prefer to go for the consistent stuff. So we're gonna do that. I think increases damage. Yes, we'll do that one by twelve percent. Do I need to do some balance here? I've unlocked this now. Increases health, grant, grants the immunity. Recu reduces health damage by 75%. Whoa, okay. Well, I'm hoping that Rex has usually got this, maybe. I don't know where to put any of my points then. What's the one in the circle there? Unlock shotguns. Okay, let's give Rex some more gun options. And... Increase health by 10%, 14%. That makes sense. Wow, Rex, I'm so sorry I didn't put literally anything in there. Sorry I didn't give you any points. The same. Decryption! Tali. My girl. Oh, damn. It's really hard to see. Let's go in from that way. I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. I hope I've got enough. Damn. <sighs> Override using 25 Omnigel. That's a lot of Omnigel. This is an easier one, alas. Oh, Lord. Hey! <laughs> Woo! All right, um, let's go back to my squad. I've got to keep remembering to do this. I've got points for me as well. Okay, Tali. Electronics increases the strength of your shields, basic armor, pistols, all of this. Uh, though young, Tali is a true genius when it comes to dealing with mechanical or electronic equipment. Increases tech resistance, increases shields. Tali, I feel like it would be stupid to not use her individual specialty before we do anything else. And then honestly, I feel like decryption, I want to be able to decrypt and hack, I do. We're doing it. We're unlocking hacking. Oh Lord. <laughs> We're doing it. Okay. Um, AI hacking temporarily drives basic robotic enemies berserk. So they will attack anything nearby, including their former allies. Can use electronic skill on average objects. Tolly. <laughs> I want to be able to decrypt everything. Can we do that yet? If anyone was wondering how I'm playing this game. No points in weapons. <laughs> All points in hacking. <laughs> I present that as exhibit A and as exhibit B. <laughs> I present I present all possible points in charm and intimidate. <laughs> Assault rifle.
rifles and I don't even know which one the assault rifle is. <laughs> the Colo way, friends. The Colo way. <laughs> All right, let's definitely go into Spectre training on this one. I've got one more point and I can't spend it there. I can't spend my extra point there. Uh, restores dead squad members. Oh. Oh, this, is, this is so it's so hard to know what to pick here it really is um and i think this i think extra health is the way to go for me there so we'll do that all right tally good girl off we go am i gonna need to shoot that dude Wrong one. I thought it was this one. I don't, I don't know if bad. Oh no, okay. <clears throat> Quite glad that I didn't shoot them because I need to pretend that I'm not dangerous for a minute. Squad, are we ready squad? Let's get, let's get a gun that makes a bit more sense in this short range situation, shall we? And maybe put the gun away. And maybe put the gun away. Hi. Nothing I to worry about. I don't think you're about. supposed to be in here, Shepard. Nope. No, I'm not. Are you? I'm Sergeant Kyra Sterling. Ilanis Risk Control Services. Analeas mm -hmm. would throw you off world for what you did here. I won't. You know what we did to cop killers on my world? You're breaking the law for bribe money. You know what we do to dirty cops on my world? I love Rex. They didn't give me a choice. They did and I didn't tell them that I did warn them. To be fair, I did I didn't warn them. I didn't fight them, they fired first. Oh, for God's well, sake! I, <laughs> I wanna... Alright, I should probably just make sense of this, right? And actually... <sighs> I really did not want to shoot you. I really didn't. I really didn't. Where is it? Who's shooting us there? Okay, alright, be careful, squad. Be careful, be careful, squad. squad keep going what's this yeah i'll have those is there somebody else down here where where down there all right got it i got it i got it i got it squad oh uh sorry tali got it i stand corrected tali tali did it me to not get blood on the carpets but it didn't really give me much of a choice i'm actually gonna go ahead and say my dude you didn't give me much of a choice okay let's get a better gun for being up close i think this is the situation thanks moose i want to shoot it can i shoot it anyway it's not gonna make much difference but i'm gonna do it anyway because it's really cool uh <laughs> used to 
shooting games. I'm sorry, everybody, about my ridiculous excitement over this. I'm just not used to these kind of games, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm new to this. Layla gifting us something carpet cleaner. Unbelievable. All right. Um, anybody else that's going to hurt us around here? Highly, highly likely. Missed anything? Also highly likely. We've been in here already. Additionally, highly likely. Upgrade kit. What's this? This looks interesting. Can I pick it up? Apparently not. All right, let's go. Leonie, I missed your sub. Thank you so much for that fresh new sub. Welcome in, friend. Thank you for the support. <laughs> Lord. All right. Uh, uh, does anybody have a map? Me, I do. So, across the other way and get in the lift, I guess. I guess. <sighs> Sorry, I think that might have been me. Are you alright, squad? These people will smile to your face while they stab you in the back. Sounds about right. From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common. Here. Yeah, I think you're right, Tali. Do I need to get my gun out again? Oh, it's you again. Commander, there have been reports of noise from the Synthetic Insights office. Would you know anything about it? Nope! No idea! I'm entirely of innocent! Of course not. Why would I? Don't play me, Shepard. Meet me at the hotel for a drink before you talk to Keen. I'll be waiting. Before? Before? Oh dear. Well, all right then. You know anything? Sergeant Sterling was killed. When we get the one responsible, we'll take turns guarding them. Just gonna walk away from that. News travels fast, it sure does, Rex. I miss elevator news. I miss it. I miss... I miss elevator news. Golo being innocent sets up. I'm sure I don't know what you are talking about. I'm sure I've got absolutely no idea. Hmm, she's still there, okay. Do we talk to her first? Yeah, I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. Allow me to reintroduce myself. Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. What do you want? The executive board knows about Analeas's corruption. I've been undercover for six months. I want you to convince Keen to testify before the board. That ain't gonna it's happen. This planet can run profitably again. Why don't you ask Keen directly? I'm Analeas' secretary. You'd think he'd believe me? That he'd meet me in some dark alley with his evidence? So why should I believe you? I thought corruption was the rule on Novera. Yeah! The rule is don't rock the boat. Self-interest is tolerated if it doesn't interfere with business. Analeas is driving customers away. You work for Analeas. Can't you just take his records? <laughs> He's a crook, not a moron. He doesn't keep logs on his computer saying, this month I stole three million credits. Keen's testimony and records are everything I need to prove Analeas' guilt in one package. Oh, uh, I have my own I'd mission. I'd like to help you, Miss Parasini, but I need Keen's garage pass. It's vital to my mission. Yes, yes. Fate of billions and all that. I couldn't possibly understand how important your work is. 
You help my investigation, I'll provide whatever you need. Favor for a favor. Lorik is offering a lot of money. A pass can open one door. Credits can open many. I think Tali has a point. Look, Shepard, I don't like this either. You specters play fast and loose with the law. That's bad for business. Oh, she's gonna tell us more now? Do you know why the Matriarch is here? She's gonna tell us Something more! Something to do with Peak 15. She arrived after we received their Code Omega, automated warning of a containment breach. She came with an escort of Asari commandos. They took the last shuttle up to Peak 15 with a load of crates. Do you know what she had in the crates? She's gonna tell us now. No idea. The commandos wouldn't let anyone near them. They seemed heavy, though. Weapons? How can I get to Peak 15? The shuttles are down, so you'd have to drive up. If you get keen to testify, I'll get into the garage. Oh, um, you know what? I think Tali has a point. I think, I think, I think Tali has a point. I think if we're gonna, if we, if, if we're gonna get to the bottom of this, we're gonna need the correct, but surely a Spectre, like they, surely they would provide me with credits to be able to do my line of work no let's find Kane out is offering to pay me can you i can produce a copy of analeas's pass for you i can't move large sums of money without someone oh so it's who do we pick so it's who do we pick do we pick her i'll consider, I'll consider it. it and get back to you if you have any love for the law, you'll talk to Keen for me. Don't disappoint me. You know where I work. Come talk to me when you change your mind. So it's whose pass do we use? Do we do we go for her? Or do we go for him? And I don't really trust either of them. I potentially trust her more. Let's see what he's got to say. Always a pleasure, Spectre. Any news on that matter I asked you to look into? Lie? Not yet. I've never seen anything with lie in capitals. I need to get up to peak 15. Indeed. That might be difficult. A terrible storm has been unleashed up there. Are you referring to the blizzard? Mm. Of course. What else would I be referring to? An accident? I heard there was an accident. There have been unseemly rumors circulating along the lines of ancient evil and plague from distant suns. <laughs> Amusing, no? Someone watches too many bad horror vids. Did you see an Asari matriarch recently? Yes, she caused quite a stir. It's not every day a matriarch arrives with a guard detail of commandos. Is it odd? Is it so unusual to see a matriarch? They rarely venture beyond Asari space. To see such an esteemed figure is surprising. Lady Benezia was also dressed for her role. An Asari in a pinstriped suit set tongues wagging among the younger male employees, so to speak. Males of all species have strange ideas of what Asari are like. I love you, Tali. I made the right choice. I love... I, I... I love my team. I made the right choice. <laughs> Armed commandos were allowed on Novaria? I don't know if they were disarmed. Of course, one can't confiscate biotic powers. So, and by extension, Benezia, is an important person. By that I mean an investor who might sell stock, if denied. Do you know why Benezia's here? She claimed to be Saren's assistant, here to get a certain project back on track. I suspect she meant Peak 15. I have a different question. Humans <laughs> are full of questions. I should write a book about it while I have the time to spare. 
Here's the decision. For me, in my... Okay, not me, Colo, me, Commander Shepard. It doesn't matter what I do, because all I need is a pass to be able to get places. In this world, it might matter. But the only way my decision would matter is if Lorik testified. I'm gonna do it. I finished the job, but an internal affairs investigator contacted me. She wants you to testify against Enelaus. Now that you have my property, you want to dictate how I use it. I have no interest in a public spectacle. <laughs> I don't think they care about being a hero. I don't... I don't think they care. I don't think they'd care. If necessary, yes. Do what I tell you to, or Analeas will find what he's looking for. It is good to have all our cards on the table. I regret that you have a better hand. Very well, I will testify. Make whatever arrangements you need with your contact, I will wait here. It worked! It worked! <laughs> it worked. I have not been contacted regarding our arrangement yet. Are things in hand? I just want to know if they're going to tell me anything else. See an oh, it's the same damn me. dialogue. Yes, okay, all right. Quite a stir. Yeah. It's not every day a matriarch arrives. All right, goodbye. Tale of commanders. Oh, it I worked. Let you go. I know Winsley, right? Colo playing cardboard. Do humans consider conversation a form of imprisonment? <laughs> That would explain why so few are willing to sit and talk. I'm gonna leave this quest here. I'm I'm not sure what to to do about that. Like I really want to find out more. My my decision about this. If you if you missed this, if you've come in and you missed what what this quest giver was asking me. Well, are you willing to help me? It's about spying on somebody who's who's part of a dubious corporation i mean given the planet that we're on what did you want i need help duping rafael vargas a binary helix sales rep you will present yourself as a buyer on behalf of the specters or the alliance discuss their military enhancement programs your real objective will be to distract him i will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network it will upload a variety of monitoring viruses they will infiltrate Binary Helix when he logs onto their intranet. I really want to do it just because I... So my gut was like, I want to do this because there's definitely something sus there and I need to learn more about Binary Helix and I feel like that's going to help my main quest line. So that's number one. And then number two, I was like, oh man, that's definitely really bad. And do I really... If I don't need to do it, should I do it? And... I feel like this is gonna let us learn more about Binary Helix and from a storyline point of view, I really wanna learn. <laughs> I really wanna learn! Oh god, I'm gonna do it. Oh, I'm gonna do it. Interesting plan. Oh no! I mean, excellent. Don't know how Here's I feel about this. Device. You will know it is done when it beats. Oh lord, who am I? Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Yeah, this is what we're in it for. We're in it for the story. Tell Let's go. about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off-topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's Choices service. were made, Rooney. They definitely were. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. Interesting. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. I'll go see him now. All right. I hope to hear from you soon. It's always interesting watching someone make excuses until they can justify doing bad things.
sex in games. Look, it's a game. I would never do it in real life. Allow, allow me to be naughty in a game. Um, uh, I'm an Alliance Marine. Uh... Mr. Vargas, Commander Shepard, Systems Alliance Military. I understand you work for Binary Helix. That's correct. Rafael Vargas, sales. Were you interested in our services? <gasps> Shut the front door. An Asari asked me to spy? <laughs> this game allows you to tell on people and I'm not sure how I feel about it. All right, if the price is right. That depends on what sort of offer your company can make. It was my understanding that the Alliance contracted to Mars Gene for its enhancement programs. Um... I'm sure you know that we pass a new budget every fiscal year. If it delivers a better soldier, contracts can change. A sound business practice. Excuse my hesitation, I've never heard a government accused of good business sense. First, the boilerplate disclaimer. No genetic enhancement is guaranteed to take. You can maximize the odds, but every strand of DNA is unique. Our patented techniques can provide an 8% improvement in adrenal response, 12% faster clotting, and a measurable decrease in CG muscle degeneracy. Oh, I don't have enough in that. Okay. I've never heard of a technique that improves zero gravity endurance. It's a first for the industry. The advent of element zero based artificial gravity made it a less pressing concern. We're still waiting for tests to give us an average improvement. Okay. We estimate a 7 to 11% decrease in muscle loss rates. I don't I really understand what's going on here. Credits per head. For a bulk order, I can work in a sensory enhancement package, guaranteed 2015 vision it? and hearing from 12 to 22. Ah, uh, Seems sure high. That's the best price you can offer? He did the thing. Absolutely, that's the standard rate. Of course, if the government moves forward with this on an official level, there might be some additional discounts. I have to admit, it surprised me that you were here for business. There are many development projects on Avaria. Some not entirely. He did the thing. All right, we gotta press him. She said press him on the things that he's... He he, he did the thing when when he was talking about legality, so we'll do that. Hats, Mr. Vargas. Some we'll go I down that road. Some days I defuse nukes. Some days I like to enjoy private vices. You private vices, chat. I suppose. My apologies. Your manner is rather informal for a business meeting. I'm being paged. Sounds like my crew needs me for something. I'll be in touch. We did it. Of course, Commander Shepard. We did it. We did it. Oh, boys, thank you so much for 13. Welcome back. I appreciate you using your primes up here. Thank you. Any results? It's done. Your toy did its job. Excellent. I will transfer 500 credits That's to your all. account. Really? Only 500. All right. I thought you might have wanted to provide more. That's like pocket change for them. For Seriously. Come on. Did I say 500 credits? I meant 750. Good day, Spectre. Cool, blimey, I made some decisions then, didn't I? Well done, Dollstone. <laughs> Thank you, Groovy. <laughs> I know, you still can't believe she called me a dull stone. Unbelievable. All right. Should we have done it? I don't know, Kotska. I don't know. I was really hoping that I would get more information. And I don't really understand what that com conversation was about. Like, I get they're doing some shady testing, but I was hoping that it was going to give me some more story. I only hope it unlocks more story options for me later. W was it the right thing to do? I don't know. Am I morally questionable? Definitely. Is that the point of the game? I think so. <sighs> uh, is it this way? I think it's this way, isn't it? Going back to see the lady in the beautiful dress. And I'm pretty sure it's this way, yeah. Here we go. Up this way? I think so. No, that's the garage. Um... I don't know where she is. I don't know where she is. She's pulling a dolly. She's definitely pulling a dolly. 
<laughs> she, she was like, I know what you want. Roll for initiative. Hello, friends. Did I miss a raid? Hi. Roll for initiative. Welcome. Hi. Um, a sneaky, a sneaky, sneaky raid. Thank you so much for the raid. Hi and welcome. Hi and welcome, sneaky raiders. Uh, map. Let's have a look at the map then. Oh, she's down here. Back right at the beginning. Okay. Welcome, sneaky readers. How much money does she have? Is seven is seven hundred and fifty relatively a lot? I have uh don't know where my money is actually. Uh okay, sure, take all. Why not? I uh, don't really know what I'm doing here. We will stop and have a little look at that. Uh wait, that's why I was looking at it. A equipment. Three thousand five hundred and eight. So I had yeah. So, 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 yeah, so it's quite a lot, really, when you think about it. Hula, did you use, lose your money? Yeah. I went to that club on the Citadel <laughs> and spent it all. You know the one that I mean. All right, we can't go past this character without saying hello. I've got to hear the voice again. It's just mesmerizing. Has the other reconsidered this one's plea for aid? I'm just browsing right now. This one humbly begs the other to consider its request. To consider its request. I love the voice. All right, do we get elevator, elevator news? I miss elevator news. Rex, I love you. Have a very balanced team. Rex is like, Rex smash! And Talia's like, excuse me, but have you considered that this is a very important tactical decision? <laughs> Feel like I've done well. I thought, oh, well, you did. I thought you did. <laughs> where is she? Down here? I don't remember where she first was. Um, am I in the right place? Probably not. Do I have a sense of direction? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, we went the wrong way. <laughs> Absolutely nobody is surprised. Lost yet again. <laughs> Come on, squad, let's go. She's in a place. I'll find her eventually, chat. One of the reasons I love this game is it has truly inhuman alien life forms. I just, I, I love the characterization in this game. In fact, I'm going to go as far as to say I am blown away with the characterization in this game. I didn't know that this was going to be so massively focused on decisions. I didn't know that it was going to be so massively um i didn't know it was going to be so massively focused on decisions i didn't know it was going to be so vital to understand as much as possible about the world to be able to experience it fully and i didn't think that the characters would be done so well and they are done so well i love that it's not black and white good and bad i love that it it invites you to pull apart your sense of good or morally right or i love that it makes you think about your decision process i love that sometimes it's very clear there's a blue option there's a red option and i love that sometimes it's so much more nuanced than that. I love that the characters surprise me. I love the voices. I love the the thought and attention that has gone into their characterization. They're not just pixels that say things. You can see that there is such detailed storytelling and planning and and background behind each and every one and I didn't know it was going to be that powerful I didn't know that it was it was going to be this much of a 
well-rounded experience. I, I'm really struggling to find the words to describe it, um, but it is well and truly so much more than a game, isn't it? Massively so. Massive affecting these, so. <clears throat> Winsley, thank you so much for the 200 bits. No, you didn't go the wrong way. You went the color way. Sounds about right. Ether, thank you for your 200 bobs. Did you believe that it would have such a massive effect on your experience? <laughs> Dang, Ever! <laughs> Dang! Oh no, Nightstorm Star Ring. I'm gonna give you the bow, you guys, please. Shame. Come on now. <laughs> Thank you for the bobs, everybody. Kylo, how did you not play these the first time round? Um, I was very addicted to World of Warcraft for like 11 years of my life. That's why I have not played a lot of games. Same answer as when I played Skyrim for the first time. Spectre. Have you given any more consideration to my offer? I convinced Quinn. It took some persuasion, but Keen has agreed to testify. Quinn, Keen. <sighs> That's a world of stress off my back. I'll take the evidence for safe transport. <laughs> I didn't think you'd help me, being a specter and all. I guess some of you can be all right. So, how about getting me into the garage? While you were working on Keen, I got you a garage pass. Oh, I thought Careful she was going to double cross me. Oh, I, have I thought she was going to say no. I had time to change into something easy to move in. I hate skirts. This is an outrage. I'll see that you never work in this sector again. Yeah, yeah, get a move on. You, Shepard, I demand you place this bitch under arrest. <laughs> you have the right to remain silent. I wish to God you'd exercise it. <laughs> see you around the galaxy, Commander. I owe you a beer. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I love the the I, I love that it was a case of Spectre arrest this woman and before it was like uh, I will have no business with you being here. I do not respect you. You are wasting my time. <laughs> I used to get a lot of freelance business here. Fastest way to climb the corporate ladder is to eliminate the guy above you. Rex is saying the most violent things, but in the most beautiful voice. My people have dealt with the corporations on Noveria in the past. They pay well, and they don't ask any questions. From all I've heard, blizzards are quite common here. Yeah, we had that, Tali, we did. Every time I come here, there's a damn blizzard. Dang blizzard all the time. All the time, cheers at Gianna. I like her. I think we made the right decision there. I don't know about a lot of our decisions, I'm gonna be honest, and I don't think I ever will. But that one, I think, was the right choice. Because I did not like that dude. And while I don't want to interfere, I would quite like to leave it a better place. And it's a hard one, because we just, we hope that uh, uh, I know the way. We hope that I know the way. We hope that he's not going to be replaced with somebody else who's going to do exactly the same thing but you never know but you never know all right is this the right way who knows potentially i am lost yet again going to exactly the same place is that the garage no that's the garage is up there i think hi i heard the administrator's been arrested any chance you had something to do with that? Mm. Why do you ask? Read it where it's due. There's a lot of corruption here. Maybe this will rein it in a bit. So what can I do for you today? Hmm. Do you think they're going to say the same things? What was that about synthetic insights? Analeas had shut down SI. Looks like he was trying to blackmail them. It happens often enough. He got caught this time, though. Looks like the executive board is going to feed him to the Nathak. I'm slightly concerned about what Nathak What sort of problems are there at Peak 15? Don't know. There's a blizzard up there, but we've had those before. Never cut the satellite uplinks before. 15's always had a lousy reputation. All right. Nobody talks Let's about Let's go. We'll go there. there. We'll go there. Everyone sent up comes back a little quiet. Yeah, all right, let's go. Have to go. Yep, we go in. Off we anything, go. I'll be here. Hey. 
Access to the garage is restricted. I have authorization. Excuse me. Yes, that's genuine. Drive safely. The weather's supposed to be pretty bad out in the Aleuts. Wait, do I have to drive? Oh no. Oh, please tell me somebody else in my party can drive. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, please tell me somebody else can drive. So that's what the Azari had in the crates. Oh my god, they jump! Oh my god, they jump! Ah, they jump! completely the wrong weapon. Oh my goodness me. Where is everybody? Like, this is so hard without this bloody radar. Tali, can you do anything about that? Oh my god. Oh, they jump! Oh, well done, Rex. Where are these things? Fan out and secure the area. No one gets in or out. I think we're all right. I think, I think we're all right. I think. What did you do here, Commander? <laughs> what did I do? The Geth ambushed us. We fought back. That's it. Geth, you expect me to... Where did they come from? If I were to guess, the Matriarch packed them in the shipping container she arrived with. I don't believe that. We did thorough scans of those. There were no power sources, no element zero masses. If Benezia Sama's containers were packed with these things, there are many more out there. How many? I need numbers, Captain. A dozen? A hundred? Dozens, at least. They're machines. You could pack them tightly. I must report to the executive board. If word gets out about loose geth, there may be an investor panic. Interesting that she calls them machines. And what we know from Tali is that they're sentient. Or well, at least gaining sentience. Interesting there. <gasps> Bog! Hi, Bog! It's so nice to see you! Hey, chat, this is Bognogus! Bognogus, this is chat! Friends! Oh my goodness! Uh, if you don't know Bognogus, like, please go and say hello to him. He loves space. I, I know him because we both used to stream a lot of Elite Dangerous. But we haven't seen each other in so long! Oh my goodness! I've had the absolute pleasure of meeting him several times. He is a total and utter delight. You wouldn't play in Star Citizen chat? Go say hi. Look, you won't regret it. He's got a delightful moustache. Delightful, I tell you. Hi, it's so nice to see you. Welcome. 
Hi! Long time no see. It's so nice to see you. I'm so excited. Fox here. Bog's here. Um, my friend Ed, you might, you might know Ed. He used to work at Elite Dangerous. Describes Bog as the nicest man on the internet. Go follow him. You'll see why. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I have to drive this thing. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> That's it, chat. We're screwed. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. This is it. <laughs> I'm driving with screwed. I'm a good driver in real life. Oh, Lord, this is... Oh, chat, this is a heckin' accessibility nightmare. How the butts do I do this? Lordy me. If you don't know this, I play games using uh, an access accessible controller. I usually play with my left hand and left foot. I do have some right hand controls here, just because this game I wouldn't be able to play otherwise. Oh, hell. Level one hazard. Thanks, I feel personally attacked. Uh, I mean, it's accurate. But I feel personally attacked. Um, how do I know where I'm going? How do I... How do I know where I'm going here? Uh, this way? I guess we just... Uh... <laughs> Oh my god, this is really hard to drive. Okay, okay, okay. All right. We, we have a... We have a... Oh, Lord, we have a gun. Okay. Sure. Um... Wow, this is... This is impossible to drive. Good Lord, I'm gonna fall off cliff. Oh, hell. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. Can I? Can I save in here? Yes, I can. All right, let's just. Yes, I would like to overwrite my save. I don't want to fall off a cliff and die. Um, not that I would save scum anyway, to be fair. But let's find out. Ah! Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This. This looks. Oh lord. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's one over here, I think. Yep. All right, okay. D did I get them all? No, definitely not. There appear to be more cannons. Where are they firing from? <laughs> if I take these shields down right now, hopefully when we get up there, we'll be all right. Okay, come on. Let's... Oh, Lord! Um... Can I just drive through their fancy shields? Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh lord! We gonna? Oh chat! Oh lord! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! This is a problematic situation. tank it's a tank it was designed to withstand this it's a tank it's a tank it's designed oh my god this is so impossible chat what if we just like hear me out hear me out what if i just oh. this is so impossible can i just what if i just can i just hit it can i just was a shield but uh, apparently i should have paid attention to oh my god this this is a horrible control scheme this is absolutely horrible i hate it whoa oh dear oh dear oh dear Oh dear. Can they get it from here? If 
If it's any consolation, 99% of players struggle with driving this vehicle. Thank you, Alex. That is indeed a consolation, I have to say. Did I... If I pull these shields down, then at least when I go out there and get a little bit closer, there's fewer shields for me to go through. Right, there is one more. Just let that hit over there. Okay, off we go. God, I am glad I saved. Here we go. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yeah. Can I just r run it over? Is, is, this gonna, is that going to be a thing? Can I just, just... Sorry about this. Oh my god, I actually can. This is now my tactic. A locked crit. Can I get out? I want to... I can jump. Oh no. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, this is dangerous. It's really hard to use these blooming joysticks when it comes over that side. All right, we'll go again. Definitely be looking at these updates, and I'm definitely not because I find it very stressful, which is not helpful at all. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Um, well, I would like to get back in the tank. What do you think, Rex? Okay. Level one hazard. Again, I feel personally attached. It's a hot mess. I hate it. This is my this is the worst part of the game. This is absolutely impossible to to, to maneuver. <sighs> oh lord, oh lord, oh lord, okay. I see why they have shuttles usually. <laughs> can I can we just Holly, do you want to hack the shuttle or something? Because I'm going to be honest, I'd be pretty snazzy. It'd be great if we could just not drive on this ever again. <sighs> All right. Oh. Why don't I just... Hear me out. Oh, my Lord. Maybe Vin Diesel can help you drive next time. Oh my God, Layla, thank you for the pop. If you didn't hear this, um, I recently learned, like last last week, bear in mind I'm 30, 31 on Monday. I, uh, I recently learned that Vin Diesel is not called Vin Diesel because he was in a load of car movies. That was my recent discovery. Hi. Bye. <sighs> I don't understand this level one hazard nonsense. Whoa! Look at that! Holy butt! Is that where we're going? Is that where we were? I have a lot of questions. M mostly, I would just like to not be driving this vehicle anymore. <laughs> their emissions that we can avoid that half of this vehicle i will be avoiding them lord what a nightmare big spire energy love spire energy thank you for the support chat holy butts you lovely lot you're doing great Carlo. you're driving really well this is very hard this is a very hard thing to drive and i appreciate that a lot of people are having issues here with this but yet yeah, from an accessibility point of view as well this it completely and utterly sucks and i will be attempting to avoid this wherever possible
<laughs> really not sure if I'm even going the right way. I hope so. I can hear shooting coming from all sides, so I'm not really sure if I recovered this in the right way, but... Oh, hi. I'm just gonna stand still while I shoot that because honestly, the most efficient thing would be to move and shoot at the same time, but that's not gonna happen today. That is just not gonna be happening today. <laughs> oh, it's as good as it gets. Nice, Tom's Dot. Thank you so much for the pops. Mirror signal maneuver. <laughs> Mirror signal maneuver. Fire all weapons. Sounds about right. Oh, yeah. Did we make it? Ah! Is it still going? No, I just fired one. One for the... Oh, dear. This doesn't look good. This does not... This does not look good. Thanks for getting us here. I think, I, I think, Shadow Spawn, thank you so much for the 31 months. Welcome back. Do not pull the collar and fall off the cliff and somehow win the game. Look, that's a me thing. If we could do it, I'd do it here. I'm going to go ahead and save this game right here. Thank you so much for the 31 Shadow Spawn and Night Storm Star. Thank you so much for the 200 bobs. It takes a subtle touch. If I could drive it for you, I would have pretty good at it if I say so myself. I don't know why you needed to put a wink on the end of that. The wink makes it very creepy. I'm not entirely sure where you're going with that. Uh, that looked like it had eyes. Did you see it? Let's see if we can... Does it close and come back? Did you see that it had eyes? Did you see that it had eyes? Look, it had eyes! Did you see? Oh no, oh lord, oh lord, we need a... Does that door open? Does this door open? Can we bring this thing in? Oh no, oh. Oh chat, I think I've made a grave error. I think I was supposed to bring the thing in and now I can't bring it in. This is very problematic! about all of my bad talking about you tank i'd like you back now please Rex, I appreciate you, but just give me a second, please, buddy. Uh, that seems unlikely. Where? Can you stay in one place, please? I know that wouldn't make a fantastic game. a shield. Please tell me that was a shield. What the? Oh, it's there. Okay. Let's come at it from this side then. I'm just hoping to take them by surprise. 
surprised at this point, to be perfectly honest with you. They're here somewhere. User alert. All Peak 15 facilities have suffered a great deal of damage. Biohazard materials present throughout facility. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. We'll need to get the reactors back online. All right, Dolly, best girl, all right. Oh, Lord, okay. I like these decryption things. You gotta think fast. I appreciate them. Come on, squad. It's amazing how well Color is doing with these high-stress situations. I'd forget all the controls. Poised Ivy, I have. Thank you for saying that. And I absolutely have forgotten the controls repeatedly. I gotta say, I do really, I really do enjoy the, um... Wait, I leveled up, chat. I leveled up. I really do enjoy the sniper rifle. I'm having a lot of fun with that. <gasps> Am I more naughty than nice at the minute? Oh, Lord. Definitely intimidate. I wonder why. <laughs> Motivation to buy up? Receives twice as many extra credits when selling items to store. Okay. All right, then. <laughs> Uh, increases the damage and duration of all powers and attacks. Restor yeah, okay, yeah. All right, let's have all of these points, please. Thank you. Yep, all of those. I would like all of those points. Thank you. And the same here. Increases health by 8%. Yep, will also increase my health. Fantastic. Well, that makes sense. We'll just continue to max all of that out as we go. Let's check my squad. Hacking, decryption, all of the above. Uh, come on, Tali, best girl. Uh... Yep. Yep. Hacking. Yep. All of those things. Uh, increases shield capacity. Basic. Oh, I haven't even given her basic armor. We'll definitely continue to do that. Squad. All right. Squad. Here we go. Um, barrier. Uh, so, yes, I would like you to... Ba the barrier situation is good here. And I appreciate it. Uh, able to equip, equip medium armor, increases damage protection, grants the shield boost ability, unlocks heavy armor. Um, I think barrier is something that we will just... Uh, stasis, sure. Why not? Advanced barrier. Absolutely. Uh, unlock stasis? What's this? Creates a powerful mass effect field that immobilizes a single target. Oh my god. Okay. Um... Oh, all of these. Grants the immunity ability? Yes. Yes. All right. Well, that was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Let's give Rex an assault rifle. A, a decent one. Equipped item... Yeah, okay, so... 120... Heat sink capacity. Oh, man, this is just impossible. I really don't know what to do here. I need to stop and look at all of this. Quite spectacularly. Do we not have any armor that Rex can use? I guess special... Special... Spe 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 nailed it, special armor. All right, well, I'll look at that after. I should definitely look at that before every mission, shouldn't I? Why are their guns? Why are the turrets facing the wrong way? Yeah, Talia. They want to keep their people in as much as they want to keep others out. Yeah, I've got the same question there, Tali. That looks dangerous.
So what's this? That's why we just came through, right? looks like an experiment. Oh, right, let's hold on the lift for a second. Hello, Avery. Hi. Thank you so much for the 245 bobs. Hello, it's me, YouTube family, finally watching one of these as it happens. Hi. Enjoy your wholesomeness and humor since I found your Skyrim material and I'm glad to have finally joined the family. Avery Witch Queen. It's gorgeous to have you here. Thank you so much for coming to meet us. Hi. Uh, okay, I can't unlock that then. I mean, coffee? Got no lift gossip in this place either. Avery, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome. Thank you. Enjoy your time ad for a year. Enjoy your remotes. Careful, Dali. Careful, 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 Dali. I mean, how close is too close for a sniper rifle? Ask him for a friend. through there. I'm more comfortable with it. I am. Behind there, I think. All right. Yep. Goodbye! What was that? Probably debris. Don't have a panic attack. I'll protect you. I love you, Rex. Oh, Lord, no! Oh, Lord, no! Oh, good. Oh, God. What the? Take cover, friends. <laughs> Can I shoot it straight from here? Can't shoot it through the glass. All right. How is it shooting us? How is it, <laughs> it going us from there? I mean, I don't know why I'm trying to find a lift to get in to go to these things, but uh, apparently that's what's happening right now. So here we are. Oh, like that. Didn't I have a grenade at some point? Actual question, do I have a grenade? Actual question. 
Yes. What, which button? Actual question. Which 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 button is the grenade? <laughs> Six grenades in bottom left. <gasps> G on keyboard. Do you know what it is on controller? Does anybody know what it is on controller? It's X to launch, X to detonate. Oh! Never seen anything like them. Damn if I know. Smashed it. Someone on this mountain does. Smashed it. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh no. Personal logs, Administrator Tartakovsky. Tartakovsky. That is last time. No more. I will use that transport carrier. Three shipments we lose in Macedon system in one month. They are too stupid or too slow. If only Gregor still ran his shipments, he would get what I need, and no mercenaries would dare stop him. Okay. All right, if you say so. Those things weren't actually as scary as I thought they were going to be. She says, hoping seriously that there aren't any more because I've only got two more grenades. Uh, all right, I got the pattern. Off we go. We're going to have a lot of rekitting to do. I find it very stressful to do the rekitting, actually. I think it's because I don't know enough about it, so I will ask some actual questions, but we're doing all right, so I think we'll be all right. Okay, what's in here? Are you all right, squad? Be all right. Metagel. Okay. Where the hell did it come from? Close all the doors behind us. Uh, you can't close the doors. <clears throat> you can only open them, right? I, I understand. <sighs> it's another elevator. Well, I guess we're going in. Any elevator gossip? No oh, elevator gossip. Right. I guess we take this piece by piece. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? A backup power system, Shepard. Must be for the station mainframe. We so missed whack it and turn this thing on. We missed the coffee. I was I was looking for coffee. Startup error. Virtual intelligence user interface offline. Manual boot required. Okay. Passenger trains. I'm scared to go around this corner, chat. This is the point in movies where they're like, don't go around the corner. Can you hear screaming? Enter core, Mira. I'm just gonna look at everything else before I go to that unknown place. Screaming, and I 
don't like it. Not very good with horror. Well, I guess we'll go in there. The appeal of winter wears thin very quickly. I don't want to press this button, but I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna have to. I need to get going. Finally awake and get ready for the rest of the day. Thank you for your bits, Avery. I'm glad to have caught at least part of one of these. It's so nice to see you live, Avery. Thank you for coming over from YouTube. I'm glad to have caught at least one part of these. Keep being amazing, Grillo. Keep up being silly, chat. Keep being TPM, TPM. TPM isn't here today, but maybe somebody can... Maybe somebody can pop, pop that on Discord and let him know. Avery, thank you for coming to see us. Buffka, see you later. All right, chat, I'm scared of this. It looks like a no from me, but where else are we going to go? Where's my squad? Memory core one damaged. Transfer module stack to core two. Choose module to move. I don't understand what I've got to do. didn't get to read it i would like to know what it what it said i didn't get to read it in time so i don't know what their aim is and i can't get out of it apparently i can't also can't get out of it i'm okay so I can't press Y or B right now. I have to press X. And then I can press either Y or B. I'm, I'm going to ask exclusively the mods. Mods, I'm going to ask you to tell me in mod chat, and hopefully you know. I didn't see what the text says, so I don't understand what I'm doing. I'd like to know what the text was that the game said. Could you could you, could you, you look or, or, or clip and have a look for me, please, mods? I'm asking exclusively the mods this question. I would, um, I, I don't know what I have to do here because I didn't read that. I didn't see the text. The text disappeared before I could see it. So I don't understand what I have to do. Do we know what the text was? Thank you, Muzi. Memory core one damaged. Transfer module stack to core two or three to reactivate. Press A to exit. That's what the text said. Thank you, mods. Thank you. Memory core one damaged. Transfer module stack to core two or three to reactivate. Okay, so I have to take X to Y or B? Uh, what happens if I come out of it? I'd like to attempt to do it manually. Got it, okay. I thought A was gonna do something permanent there. So I can only press, I don't really understand what it is that I have to do here. Um... So I have to move every piece? And 
choose module to move. I can't scroll up and down them. Don't know if I really understand this puzzle, to be honest with you, chat. Do I have a hundred Omni Gel? I don't know. Insufficient Omni Gel. I don't know how much I have. Is there much going on here that I can look at? Is there a hint or some kind of... 50... I don't know if I have enough information to solve this puzzle either. Hmm. They look the same as well. I can't spot any difference other than the angle. And I have to go one by one. But I can't move... Th I can't move the third one, and I don't understand why. I guess it's because I'm not doing it in the right order. So this time I can't go to B, so I can't go to... So we have to select... So I've got that I have to select the one on the far left. And then I guess I have to stack it into either Y or B. That I guess that's what I have to do, but I don't really understand how to figure it out. Um, you all right? Pumpkin just sneezed and woke herself up, I think. Did you just sneeze and wake yourself up? Good morning. Good morning. Let's just give us some privacy, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I think she just woke her up sneezing. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm not really sure on this. I might have enough Omni Gel if I. So, I, so here's what I understand. I have to select using X, and then I have to pick either Y or B to put it in. So then I select this one, but I can't select Y. So I think I have to go alternately. But then I can't put that one in there or in there, so I don't really know how to do that. Tempt manual. Transfer module stack to call two or three. But I can't press Y or B, so the only thing I can do is select. So I know I have to select from X and move it into Y or B. So I guess it's just the order in which I do it. Oh, so now it's telling me... Now it's putting blue around those two. So it's giving me two... Okay, so I can now see that it's giving me blue options. And now it's giving me no blue options. So the only option is... Okay, so I... I can see that it's giving me blue outlines now. And I don't think it was giving me those before. So can I... So now I can't go back again. So I can put that one in B, but I can't put it anywhere else. And the only place I can put that back. Not sure I understand this puzzle enough to solve it, chat. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Use module to move. Do I just have to stack them back in again, maybe? But I can put that one back. What if I just have to stack them back in again? We've gone back there. them in a particular order so it's allowing me to put that one in Y Is 
So that stops all my options. If I put it in Y, then I can only put the next one in B. Do I have to do it that way? And then I can put that there, and then I'd have to put X in B, but I can't. There's a pattern here. What what can't I do with B? So can I only put it in B when there's one below it? So can I pick up X now? No. Can I only put it in B when there's one above maybe? So I can put this in Y now. And then I should be able to put X in B, but I can't. Just gotta try and figure the pattern out here. Can I do it now? No. So I, I, I guess the aim is to transfer them all over, but I just don't un really understand how I transfer them all over. And I can't put that back in Y. Let's try again. I'm determined to get this. I'm just confused. Me too, Kinder. There's got to be a rule, but I can't figure out the rule. So I can put the little one in either Y or B. I don't know why. Let's put it in B for now. And then I can take X. So will the second one only go to Y, regardless of where I put the other one? Let's try and put the first one in... I'm pressing the wrong buttons. That's down by. If I put the first one in Y, can I put the second one in B? Yes. But I can't do it the other way around. So maybe they meet the exact same rules. So if I take this one from B, I can't put it back in Y. Hmm. So I put this one here. And I go back to here. And I couldn't do anything. So I think I then took, put that back there. And then I put the one from Y no, I didn't. We'll put that in Y. And then I put the one from B in Y. But now I can't... Oh, I can! I can put it there. So can I now put B into Y? No. I wondered if it was that I couldn't directly put one in the other. So let's try and take Y out and put it in B. Maybe I just can't put it directly in the same one twice. No. Can I take it out of Y and put it in B? No. Can I take it out of B and put it in Y? Yes. Not sure I'm gonna... I don't, I don't understand the rules enough to be able to figure this out. And I can't... My brain can't identify the pattern. Okay, when I, usually when I can't figure something out, it's because I'm either overthinking it or I've missed something really obvious. They, those are the two main reasons why I can't figure something out. So what could it be that I have missed that is obvious? Is there any clue here somewhere? I don't want to shoot it, so let's just put the gun away. Tea break. I do need a weave helmet.
So the first one, it doesn't matter where I go. I can go to B or Y. But wherever the second one is, it has to go in the opposite place. And then the third one... I can't move anywhere. I have to either move Y or B. So I can move that one there. Now I can move this one here. Does that mean I then have to move B to Y? And does that then mean need, mean that I need to move X to B? No. So... I can't put two together? Is that the rules? Now they're stacked together. So can I put B in Y now? And can I put X in B and go back the other way? I can only put it back in Y. I think that needs to go there, and then I think that one needs to go there, and then I think that one. It looks like you're trying to restore this facility. Would you like help? Can I just have a wee chat? We're well over time. Right, we're well, we're well over time. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna finish on this planet. I think that's a hard thing to say, but I really, really, really need a wee. <laughs> I really need a wee. So I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna go for a wee and come back. We got there eventually. Thank you for, thank you for sticking with me. I'm still not entirely sure that I understand all the rules. I understand that I had to build it back from bottom to top. And I think that there were there was another rule in there about not being able to put one above another or something. I still don't fully understand it, so, but we got there. Um, I'm not going to leave. I was going to leave you with Pumpkin, but she's having a wash. Um, so I'm just going to pop you here and play your video really quickly. I need a wee. It's going to be like less than the video. I'm going to cut the video off. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for sitting on your hands. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll see you in just a second. Hold on. Uh, this button, and, uh, this button, and, oh, sorry, pumpkin, I'm gonna give you some privacy in just a second. All right, I'll see you in a minute! The Lost Yorgonian Maid! Oh my goodness! Story time? Is this filth? Um... <laughs> Can we read this? Mm. Yeah, there we go. That's her. This is about to be on the internet forever. Are we ready? My goodness, that's quite a loaf. But how ever shall it fit in my oven? This loaf isn't ready for baking, my sweet. It has yet to rise. If only we could hurry that along, how would I accomplish such a task? Oh, my foolish little Argonian maid. You must use your hands. You wish me to knead the loaf? Here? Yeah. Of course. Then what if the mistress catches me? Your loaf was meant to satisfy her appetite. Don't fret, my delicate flower. I'll satisfy the mistress's cravings later. Very well, but I'm afraid my oven is not hot enough. It could take hours. Plenty of time, my sweet. 
plenty of time. Simon. Get out of here, shall we? <laughs> Is this book even about baking? No, it's not. No, it's not about baking. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. Snazzy. Which stickers should I pick and where should they go? Flowers. I think he needs a magnifying glass. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. More hearts. Oh, there's one over there. All of the hearts. Now kiss. He needs watering. Is there any water? I tell you what, we'll give him a hat. Because maybe it's just that there's too much sun and he needs some shade. <laughs> I think this lot needs boots. <laughs> this is really good for my learning this control scheme, guys. It's really tricky to get everything where I want it. But like, oh, that's so perfect for learning. This is a plant wearing shoes. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, I'm very proud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that the sunflower and the carrot are in the kind of relationship where they would share clothes? Do you think they're the same shoe size? <laughs> it's just really important that I make the carrot and the sunflower share a wardrobe. I'm sure you'll understand. The great thing is that they'd only have to buy one pair of shoes because they only need one each. I really want the plant to have long legs. Oh yes, that's what we want. Now we need to just put the hat on their head. There we go, I think I'm done. I think I'm done. I created a sunflower detective with a carrot lover who just put lipstick on and they share shoes and they're in love. That's why there's hearts, because they're in love. And then I made all my dreams come true because I can live vicariously through a house plant with long legs with a delightful hat. Nailed it. Right, I think I just have to be... <laughs> This is the best game ever. <laughs> oh, it is, by the way, the best game ever. <clears throat> There's more of that on YouTube, by the way. <laughs> if, you do, if you'd like to know, that is Frog Detective. It's a wonderful game. I thoroughly recommend that you go and play it. I thoroughly recommend Fun it. Fun fact, that Puzzle was an implementation of the Tower of Hanoi, also known as Tower of Brahma or Lucas Tower. Notably, Never heard of it her. takes a minimum two to Never the power of, of n minus one moves, where n is the number of discs in the tower. Ah, oh, great! <laughs> there are those words! Bonus Wonderful! Fact, Thank if you! If one moved one piece per second, a tower just 50 <laughs> discs tall would take longer than the current age of the universe to solve. Whoa! That's crazy! <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Cole Ever. Part of Alphabet Mafia. It's me. A carrot and a sunflower being in love and sharing a wardrobe is not queer at all. No, never. What can I say? It's a great day to be gay. Thank you for your gay bits, Talila. <laughs> Yeah, definitely not. Definitely nobody knew, right? <laughs> Thank you for your bits, everybody. All right, are we ready? You're the station PI. We're the virtual intelligence that runs this place. This system is monitored to respond to the name Mira. May I ask your name? Where's the option to tell them my name? Hi, I'm Golo. Hi, I'm Golo. Uh, for what purposes? Why do you need to know? Oh yeah, to wait. To determine I'm just... the data access available to you. Basic access is limited to non-secure queries. Secure access allows most system functions. Privileged access is available only to executives of Binary Helix. Commander Shepard, I work for oh, the Citadel's no! Special I Tactics and Reconnaissance. I don't One moment, please. Council Authority confirmed. You are entitled to secure access mm. of all systems. Please note that queries relating to corporate secrets require privileged access. Oh. Privileged access is only available to Binary Helix executives. This system is ready to process queries. You may access me at any holographic interface within Peak 15. I need to find Matriarch Benezia. Lady Benezia departed on the passenger tramway to the Rift Station subsidiary labs. User alert. The tramway system is currently inoperable. What's the situation here? One moment, please. 
Diagnostics in progress. Critical failure. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. It's manually restart Critical then. Failure. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger tram systems are offline. Report complete. Do you have an additional system status query? Um, what landlines? What are the landlines and why are they disabled? The landlines connect my mainframes here at Central Station to the various sub-facilities of Peak 15. This allows the crew to remotely access my databases from the comfort and security of their labs. When emergency protocols were implemented within the hot labs, the cabling was automatically ejected. How do I fix that? How do I reconnect the landlines? The landlines are designed for easy reconnection. The router for the landlines is on the roof of operations. Okay. Simply activate the controls and the hardware will reconnect and reboot automatically. Okay. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency right. guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill <laughs> biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Turn off the heat and hope the cold puts whatever you've unleashed to sleep. Nice. Tell me what happened nice. here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Uh... Give me a damage report. I need instructions on how to repair the no, station. No, uh, we already Critical did that. Failure. Damn it! Main reactor shut down. No, we already did that one. I don't want to be in a loop. Manual restart required. Critical failure. Landline connections are disabled. Sorry, Passenger chat. tram systems are offline. Mira needs an report actual complete. question. Come on, I think she might. Kriana. Yes, other topics. Tell me what happened here. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Your final logs, your shutdown, hostile creatures, the creatures all of the above. We've encountered here. Did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Only executives of Binary Helix have that level of clearance. Why were you taken offline? In the event Peak 15 must be sterilized for security purposes, my program and data are purged. They kill you if something goes wrong? My systems are permanently disabled. To be killed, I would need to be alive. I am merely a database program. The creatures we've encountered here, did they come from the labs? I'm sorry, Commander. Inquiries related to our research require privileged access. Well, then. Only executives we appear to be at an impasse that chat. Level of clearance. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. So Passenger we need to get on the roof. Offline. To fix that, huh? Come on, team. Do we get exiting to the roof? Oh, user alert. Yes, this Landline is actually where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> Passenger trams are offline. <laughs> Chai appeared to be in the right place. Don't mean to alarm you. User alert. Main reactor shut down in accordance with emergency containment procedures. Manual restart required. Oh, dearie me. Good. <laughs> I did not 
not like, did not like that at all. Not at all. User alert. No, thanks. Main reactor shut down like in it. accordance with emergency containment procedures. No more of Manual that. Manual restart oh. required. User alert. Landline connections are disabled. Passenger <laughs> trams are offline. <laughs> Restored. <laughs> Processing new data. User alert. Unable to connect to hot lab facilities. Do you know why the reactor was shut down? I'm sorry, but I was offline at the time. Shutdown could occur if reactor breach seems likely, or in the case of catastrophic laboratory containment failure. Emergency guidelines suggest the frigid environment will kill biological contagions. It may also damage mechanical ones. Um... What do I need to do to get the power back on? The valves to the Helium-3 fuel line must be opened. This can be done at the controls on the reactor assembly proper. Where's that? Tell me what happened here. I'm sorry, but I need a more specific query. Uh, all of the above. Thanks, VK Bits to Lido. I see them. It's pieces of dust. Station? I forgot how to quit. Rift Station has been locked down by the staff. There are presently no contaminants within the facility. The staff is alive, then? Yes, though the number of personnel is below the official staff count. Why is Rift Station locked down? Emergency procedures require each facility to isolate itself to prevent the spread of contagion. It would also appear that there are several employees quarantined for medical treatment. If it's locked down, will I be able to enter? The passenger trams can bring you to the facility. Further access will be at the discretion of the security forces there. I'm not sure if I want to do that. Give me a status report on the hot lab. Tell me all about the hot yoga. I am sorry. The network connections to the labs have been damaged. Data is limited. You have no idea what's going on inside. I'm afraid not. My last log entry is shortly after the stage two containment alert was sounded. Give me an overview of the facility. The hot labs isolate dangerous biological or cybernetic contaminants during development. Right. The complex is built within a glacier. In the event of an accident, it can be irradiated and sunk into the ice. Whoa. That's all I need right now. Very well, Commander. Logging you out. Uh, I got no idea what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how to get to the thing. Um, I like these. I really like these. Whoops. Was that a number three? I don't think I've had that before. Oh. Wait, this is the one that I never use, right? Which is the one that I keep using? That one. No. I don't know. Sniper rifle. <laughs> that one. <laughs> definitely, definitely keep using that one. Oh, look, this is too complicated for my brain right now. I'm too tired. Do you know what? I think that's, I think that's it. I'll quit that. I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do now. I have to go and activate User stuff, alert. I know. Main reactor shut down. Main reactor, but, I, with but I think, containment I think, friends, restart required. we are over time. And I think my brain is probably a little bit too tired to, to manage going on. But we got this far and I'm pretty, I'm pretty pleased with it. Let's just make sure we can save while we're here. Yes, we can. Snazzy, walrus time. I think it is time for the walrus. I think it's time for a walrus LWF. To all around, push all the buttons and annoy all the ground lady. You'll find where you're going eventually. I mean, it checks out, right, chat? That checks, that checks out. That would be about right. Accomplish the things and stuff. I did. Let me just get my controller over there out of the way before we press all of these buttons. This one. Pumpkin's gone. And this one. Caw! 
We did a lot today, didn't we, chat? We did... We did a lot. I'm just going to doubly save. Peak 15 roof, save game. Yes, I want to save the game. Let's just double check that everything is all completely saved over there. Thanks for playing with me today. The rest of the mission is probably uh, appreciated. I think the game will be more appreciated. With fresh eyes. For sure. <sighs> Didn't like that tank. Everything else was pretty fun, though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I didn't like the tank everything else was good fun though thanks for being here Darth right I'm gonna replay these I'm gonna replay these now we've got alerts unmuted dust. Sniper rifle. pretty much Talila thank you for your bobs <laughs> I'm a potato. lordy me Darth thank you so much for the 26 it's cola dab it's cola dab it's cola dab, dab how dare you dab like this all over me thank you so much for the 26 months Darth I appreciate your prime sub welcome back thank you Pax color is the best Mako is it Mako or Marco cat chat actual question Marco driver Mako driver actual question how do I say it make like making a cake or mark like making a mark <laughs> only three months feels like so much longer <laughs> tyra thank you so much for the three months welcome back i appreciate your three month mug thank you for the support <laughs> you're making it worse always mako you say marco you say mar like shark marco Mako, there's a lot of conflicting opinions in chat <laughs> right now. <laughs> you certainly left a mug. I left a lot of mugs. Quite proud of my sniper rifle. I'm going to be honest with you. This is when in like months time, we've completely finished the playthrough. And I find out that like a sniper playthrough is completely inviolable. This is, this is, this is usually what happens when I play through a game. And it's the joys of playing through something is uh, hint free. <laughs> Hint free help free. Sometimes you somehow manage to get all the way through a game and get everything wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry I taught the, the next objective too well. I'll have a word for next time so it is less well hidden. <laughs> Thank you, well hidden tell you. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. I appreciate your bits. I guess I'm trying to find somebody for us to raid. Um I'm not sure who we can go and say hello to. <laughs> The short fin Mako shark slash and co slash, I saw a Soxyrhynchus, also known as the blue pointer or bonito shark, is a large mackerel shark. It is commonly referred to as the Mako shark. Mako shark. That's how the lady said it. Mako shark. Ever, thank you very much for your bits. Thank you. Why was the cow afraid? He was a cow herd. He was a cow herd. He was a... Moving swiftly on, chat. Moving, moving swiftly on. <laughs> Thank you, Dex, for the bombs. <laughs> we say tank. Colo says it's tong. Proper tong. Thanks for playing Colo. We loved it. I'm glad you had a lovely time, Kajo. Me too. Thank you for the bombs. Where do cows go for entertainment? To, to the, the movies. Movie. To the movies. To the the movie ouch thank you dex for the bobs lordy me chat <sighs> deep breath that's a stressful day that's like a stressful playthrough but a really good playthrough a good a good play thanks to the mods for a perfectly timed emote they did emote. great didn't they they did really great. We say this every time. The the mods do an absolutely brilliant job. It is, make no doubt, the only way that we are able to do the help free hint free playthrough is it is because of the mods. They do an absolutely incredible job. Um, and for those of you who are watching on YouTube, hello YouTube! Hi! For those of you watching on YouTube, this is one of the reasons that I've had to disable the comments on the playthrough. There will be at some point a video about that to cover it in its entirety. But one of the reasons is that they're helping the hints in the YouTube comments that we're unable to moderate in the same way that we do over here on Twitch. Um, and if you'd like to come and chat alongside, please come and see us on Twitch. It would be wonderful to have you. It would be wonderful to have you. Um, and the mods do a fantastic job over here. A wonderful job. They make this possible. So thank you. 
mods for doing you. Thanks for being you. Thanks for... Sorry for the hints and stuff that oversteps. Mud crab, have a little think. If you're somebody who got timed out today, just have a little think about what you were doing and make sure, please don't repeat it. They do a wonderful job, but that is no reason to make them work extra hard. So please, be kind to them and thank Where them. Where do milkshakes come from? The Nervous boys from the yard. And they're like, no, nervous cows. Did I get it right? Dex, thank you for the pops. <laughs> it's been a blast. I had a wonderful time. Thank you for joining us, everybody. It's unusual for us to be here on a Saturday. Um, we will resume. I won't be here on Twitch on Monday because it's my birthday. Um, but this episode will be uploaded to YouTube on Wednesday uh, as per usual. <laughs> and then we will be back. How do you get Charizard, Monday. Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle all into the back of a Fiat 500? You Pokemon. You Wait, Pokemon. Wrong game. You never gonna give you up. That never gonna let you down. Never gonna. Is this even gonna work? I don't think this is gonna make me jump, you guys. It just has to it change count? the alert. All right. Does it work? Did it work? Did it? Did it count? Semi-immune. Semi-immune. Thank you, Tallulah, for the bobs. Colony and mods and Colo. And enjoy yours. Thank you so much to, Le to Leela for the rickroll. Hells yeah. Too tired to jump. I think so. I think so. When you have a full crew, I definitely want to know who your favorite is. You can come and ask me when I got a full crew. Come and ask me. Um, so the next live episode of Mass Effect, the next live episode will be on Monday, the 6th of September. And that will be on Twitch at 6 p.m. UK time. And then... YouTube won't make a difference. You'll still see it on Wednesdays. <laughs> All right. We're going to go and say hello to Luxy today. We're going to go right over into Luxy's stream um, because uh, I love her. She's wonderful. Um, but also, it feels really lovely to be able to pass it on to uh, another person that I play tabletop with, which will be really cool because Next came to see us today. Controls. Plenty of time to properly forget all the controls. Absolutely. Actually, you're completely right. <laughs> it's a really long time. I will have completely forgotten everything. Yep, yeah, I will have completely forgotten everything. I play tabletop on Tuesdays, if you didn't know. Be cool to see you. Come say hi. Um, here is your warning. Luxy is the furthest thing from PG I know. She's very naughty and I love it. She's delightful. Let's go see her. Let's go see her. Um, friends, they're here right now in the live moment. This is very confusing speaking to like people who could be watching in like years to come, but also speaking to present day. Hi, what's it like in 2022, 2023? Hold on to your butts, folks. What's, what's it, what's it like in the future over there? Maybe in this future, YouTube comments have been re-enabled re because I've finished Mass Effect. Who am I kidding? 2024 is way too soon to be me finishing this game. Um, thanks to Lila for your bits. Hello from the past! Hello from the... It's much the same, but we live underwater. And your great, great, great granddaughter is pretty fine. Hells yeah. Um, we're gonna go and see Luxie. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, friends, on Twitch. And um, we'll be doing little victories, which we do every Sunday. Please come and share your, uh, the things that you love about this week. The things that you're really proud of. I'd love to hear it. Come and tell me all about it. The future, the future. Um, and uh, then on Friday, we'll be having a party. If you want to join for that, that'll be pretty cool. You're invited to my birthday party. You want to go? You want to go? Thanks for joining me on an unusual Saturday. Before we go, please make sure that you thank the mods. We would not be here without them. We would not be here without them. And also, I say this every time, and I mean this every single time, friends. Please tell the people that you love that you love them. And take care of yourselves as well as you would take care of the people that you love. Until next time, hold on to your butts. Lux is really inappropriate. You're gonna love her. I do. All right. See you soon. Hubba, 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 bye, 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 bye,